Hey buddy, it's been a while. I'm still setting up, but uh, yeah, it's been a couple of months. I actually went on a couple of days ago. Okay, let's get this a try. All right. Let's get this up and running. There we go. There we are. And greetings, everybody. Uh, so now we're... Oh, it would help if I actually turned lights on, wouldn't it? That would help. There we go. Now you can actually see me. Uh, do I have everything else set up? Okay, perfect. So greetings, Internet. Uh, I am Resplendent Seraf. After a bit of a huh, involuntary hiatus... Uh, so we're back. We're going to play a little more Battletech. We're going to play through that. Uh, the reason I picked Battletech is it's a turn-based game. So as I'm going through my physical therapy at the moment, because my arms are still, my arms still get tired pretty quickly. Uh, so I didn't want to go back to Fallout, um, or, uh, or even MechWarrior 5, uh, which is in the same Battletech universe, uh, or Cyberpunk or, or anything like that nature. I definitely wanted to play something turn-based. So that if my arms get tired, I could just, you know, kind of give my arms a little bit of a break, chat with you guys, and uh, and just kind of get through it that way. Um, but this also is helping me uh, re-attenuate my hand-eye coordination. Uh, yeah, I'll get into that. Um, that's awesome that you made a Fallout Discord. Um, that sounds that sounds badass. Uh, <laughs> uh, I do. I, Fallout 4 is still, like, one of my favorite games. But I love all the Fallout games. Um, one of these days I do have to give 76 a try. People tell me that it's, that it's worth trying, but I'm just a little gun shy. Um, but, uh, so yeah, you can even see the surgical scar here. Uh, basically, um, I had a herniated disc and, uh, if you're not familiar with what that is, essentially it's, uh, it's where the little discs between the vertebrae and your spine. Um, one of them, uh, it's, yeah, I mean, normally a herniation is like a bulging disc where it weakens and it just kind of swells and it presses up against things. Mine ruptured and kind of exploded. So, um, yeah, it was, yeah, ow, ow, definitely, definitely suffices. It, it sucked balls. Uh, <laughs> uh, and, and I'm probably underselling it, but I don't want to take up too much of, but that's like the Cliff Notes version of, uh, of what happened. So on January 8th, I got my, uh, my surgery where they uh, went in and they actually replaced two of them. They replaced the one that completely disintegrated and they also replaced the one above it that was also uh, really badly herniated. So, um, so yeah, I've got two artificial discs now. I like to think of myself as a cyborg. I don't, I don't think that's real. I don't think that's, that's, that's legit, but, uh, I'm going to call myself a cyborg anyway, cause it sounds super awesome. Uh, I wish I could say I was doing something fun to uh, injure my neck, but I just kind of went to sleep one night and woke up with, uh, with muscle spasms. So that's when, that's when the nightmare started. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's why I was off. Uh, that's why I was off the internet for a couple of months. Uh, I basically couldn't move. Uh, I was basically on my couch, 
um, and I, I couldn't use my arm and I couldn't use my uh, right. Uh, I started getting to a point where I couldn't use my right leg. I started having trouble walking. So yeah, it was, it was, it was bad. Um, fortunately, I had a great surgeon. Um, pretty much like four or five days after the surgery, I was already like walking around again. And uh, I, I regained use of my right arm, like basically immediately after the surgery. Um, so, uh, <laughs> oh, excellent. Perfect. Yeah. Once I, once I get my stamina back up, I will definitely, uh, you've got, um, <laughs> yeah, my surgeon. Um, so tell you, uh, my discord link is on my, um, is on my, uh, is on my Twitch profile. Uh, feel free to shoot me an invite over there and, and, and we'll, we'll, we'll set something up. Um, cause that sounds like fun. Um, but yeah, I'm getting back into work. Um, getting back into, you know, heading up the library, getting my literature review back up and running all the, you know, usual in real life stuff. Uh, but gaming is nice. It's a fun hobby. It's, uh, and like I said, I'm, I'm kind of using this to also supplement my physical therapy by, uh, playing games and kind of getting used to my, uh, you know, reattenuating my hand-eye coordination. So, uh, we're going to be playing some Battletech and, uh, in the previous episode of Battletech, we started our, our company. Um, we, uh, we sort of were working for, uh, Raju Montgomery, which is, who's kind of our mentor. Um, we were going to escort Lady Kamea Arano to her coronation. Uh, her uncle decided to launch a coup because, you know, uh, he, he decided that an authoritarian regime was, was better than, um, than anything she had in mind. And, uh, so yeah, the coup worked, she's dead and we're scrounging the periphery looking for zebels as uh as the title suggests so um yeah as we kind of get into this we'll 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 i'm happy to chat and uh as we get everything up and running let's uh let's actually go to the in game here perfect and because we still have to name our company and you would think after thinking about it for a couple of days Yay! All right. My stream elements chatbot is working again. <laughs> After three months, uh, it was like totally broken. And, uh, and, uh, so yeah, it didn't, it didn't work last, last stream. So it's, it's good that, that I now see it work, working in chat. So <laughs> victory. Mythic legendary death crawl. Yeah. Yeah. Those, those could be pretty bad. <laughs> That's what the six crank laser musket is for. Sure our, yeah, our audio levels look good. Perfect. We're not going to do the uh, the intro again, but uh, yeah, that's what I I for for anything crazy like that. My preferred weapon for those kind of nonsense things is a six crank laser musket. You go into a said Tesla cannon. <laughs> uh, Tesla cannon. Uh, Tesla cannon. Um. But, uh, but at least for me, um, the six crank laser pistol, you crank it six times, you target a death claw's stomach because that's their weak point, and then you crick hit it. That'll pretty much delete just about anything. Uh, <laughs> so it's a good time. All right, so here's Renegade's career, and here's the game I played previously. So this is about what we could expect if we do literally everything. I don't think we're going to do literally everything on stream, but... Um, but let's see, we'll see how, how efficient we can be. So let's load this. The Tesla cannon is fun. I love how my webcam gets a little choppy when, uh, when the game loads. <laughs> but it'll, it'll sort itself out in a second. There we go. All right, so we got seven days. Um, and let's see, what's going on here? Uh, I do think I forgot the mech bay. So let's, yeah, we did not put the other small laser in there. So let's do that while I'm thinking of it. The question is, okay, so let's put this small laser in here. Let's take away this and let's dial down the armor ever so slightly. Ever so slightly. Okay, perfect. And it'll take three days. Good. All right. So now our mech is basically complete. So we'll do that. So I totally forgot to do that before we left last time. Tesla can't go pew pew. Um, 
it's uh it's on there but if not i can uh here give me one second I'll just, uh, it's an easy enough thing to fix let's go in here and fix i think it's an easy enough thing to fix of course actually i have discord open at the moment so i'll fix that in a moment uh why are we why are you not letting me copy you is that not letting me copy you? Where is uh is it because I'm in the middle of a game? Uh it's probably because I'm in the middle of a game. Um good grief. Um but yeah, no, the Discord, the Discord invite like link to my to my uh to my channel is on my Twitch page. Um so you'll see it under Discord. Uh you just click on the actual Discord panel. I didn't I didn't actually put it any text underneath it. It's just a link. Uh so that might be throwing you off. Uh, but I don't need Discord open, so let's close that. So I don't need that open while we do this. Perfect. All right. And while we mess around with that, yeah, let's customize the company. We did change the colors last time, I think, didn't we? Oh, no, we didn't. We did not. I think what we did last time is we did that. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, we'll go with that. Okay, so let's... Right, we just we just exited out of here. We didn't actually save, but yeah, we did tweak with those colors. Um, let's see, what would be a good name? You know what? Let's. Ooh. This this is kind of a reference to an earlier D and D game that I I uh, DM'd long ago, and uh, my characters came up with a very colorful Hieronius's Death Blades of Conquest. Um, so. Uh, um, I'll, I'll, I'll have to check my, my Twitch panels then and see what's, see what's going on. Maybe, maybe it isn't there. Um, sorry, I, I don't want to necessarily mess around with that while, while I'm in, while I'm in game, but I, I will take a look at that. Um, or if you want, just whisper me on Twitch your Discord name and I'll, and I'll, me I'll message you that way. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. Um, so anyway, let's go with the Death Blades. That sounds awesome. Unless anybody else has any better suggestions as we as we proceed here. So perfect. We've uh we've messed around with that. Actually I'm I didn't I, here I thought I was gonna mess around with that a lot more. Um Alright, so we got a week till we get to Bellerophon and the plot advances. And then we got uh uh I can't your settings. Um Yeah I, Okay, perfect. So let's let's advance this. We're going to advance time now as uh, we take the jump ship to Bellerophon. Excellent. Oh, God's wrath. Ooh, that's not bad. <laughs> Job's done, Commander. Or something similar to that for the headbanging. Deus Volt. We can, uh, we can totally channel our inner Sabaton. <laughs> but yeah, that works. You know what? How about let's do it. let's go with that. Yeah, for now. Why not? We can always change it. Whenever we want to shine on anybody, we can be like, "May God have mercy on your souls," before we nuke them with a PPC. All right, we've arrived at Bellerophon, Commander, ready to proceed with our current contract. Yes. Yes, Darius, we are. And then we got some more plot. All right, so, Anna Maria Centrella. Mr. Olivia, thank you for honoring my request to meet. I am Anna Maria Centrella. You've heard of my family, I'm sure. She's going to explain this in a second for anybody not particularly, uh, <laughs> for anybody new to it. Uh, <laughs> uh, Lady Centrella, this is a surprise. I wouldn't expect a member of the Canopian royal family to even know who we are, let alone approach us in such a non-traditional manner. So yeah, she's Canopian royalty from the Magistry of Canopus. This isn't a traditional contract, and I don't need Comstar asking questions. Besides, there's no reason to involve the Mercenary Review Board. I already know that I want to hire you. Have I piqued your interest, Commander McDougal? 
Certainly, Lady Centrala. We wouldn't be here if you hadn't. I'm pleased to hear it. The job I have for you is a relatively simple one. I need you to recover something for me, and I need it done quietly. In exchange for your services, I will pay down the interest on your rather sizable loans and buy you the breathing room you've been looking for. Alright, already this is sounding too good to be true. <laughs> How do you know about... You know what? It doesn't matter. Just tell us what we're supposed to be recovering. This. And now Lady Centrella's image is replaced on the screen by a grainy photograph of an enormous grounded dropship. Ramshackle structures cling to it like barnacles. She's a derelict vessel, an Argo, only one of only two ever made. For over 200 years, she's been lying in state on Axelus, a pirate moon in the heart of the frontier. I want her, and you are going to bring her to me. Yeah, and how exactly, Yang says. I was supposed to do that. I mean, that's a big ship, and she looks half cannibalized for parts. Look, you can see her ribs in the photo. I'm in this as enthusiastic about money as the next guy, but... I'm a Merc tech, not an aerospace engineer. I'll be damned if I can get that thing flying again. <laughs> Seems like the Uncle Abel say, can you see? Relax, Mr. Vertinen. I have engineering staff on hand to attend to the Argo. Their leader, Dr. Mariah Mar uh, Farah, blah, Farah Murad, has built quite a reputation for herself on the frontier. You'll find a jump ship waiting for you at Alloway. It'll carry you to the pirate moon, where you'll clear a path to the crash site. Dr. Murad and her team will go to work on the derelict, and you will protect them until the work is done. This should all be well within your capabilities, Commander McDougal, unless I've come to the wrong company, of course. And uh, as we went over last stream, when we have certain um, certain backgrounds for our character, they align, uh, it unlocks uh, dialogue options like here, so we're going to go with that. Pirates don't scare me. I've fought the worst the Inner Sphere has to offer then I can see no reason why you shouldn't accept my offer. Do the job well enough, and there'll be more work waiting for you upon your return. Mr. Olivia? Oh, ugh. God, I'm totally butchering this guy, poor guy's name. Jeez, Darius, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Uh, Oliv... Oliv... Oh, God, whatever. Anyway, Darius, you'll never find a better opportunity than one I'm offering, Commander McDougal. I can promise you that. She isn't wrong, Marcus. We were looking for a lifeline, and I think this is as close as we're going to get. We can handle anything you throw at us, Lady Centrella. I aim to prove that to you on Axelus. Very good. I'll forward your contract, Mr. Oliveira. The stories of your exploits in the Inner Sphere are well known to the Magistry Commander, McDougal. You've built quite a reputation for yourself. Let's hope you live up to it. So now the contract for the recovery job is ready, we could follow up whenever we're ready. Let's take a look at the contracts and see if there's anything else we could do beforehand. Um, oh my god, this contract includes travel. We're going to go literally back, back to where we just came from. Good grief. Oh, these are freaking local planetary government ones. Ugh. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Ugh. Granted, we could use money. Money is good, but at the same time, um, man, this, this is just... This is just bad luck. We should have better contracts than this. Uh, but that's okay. We don't need better mechs for this particular mission. We could do this mission with the mechs that we have. So we're going to try and do that. Plus the reward for primary plot-based money. Uh, dead money is trash. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, primary missions, plot missions, they pay so much better than the other things. So yeah, as you can see, like over a million sea bills, and then you're just, we're just dealing with fractions over here so yeah we'll just travel back and we'll we'll head back we'll see if we end up with a uh random encounter on our way back or not so a lot of this game also is wandering through space back and forth See, we got we already got shit going on. Banging noises draw you to the shared mech warrior barracks where you'll find ah, this one. Where you'll find glitch disassembling one of the leopard's internal walls. There are already several panels nearly stacked beside her. She pauses, then explains, There's a few cubic meters of dead space back here. I'm making room so we can stretch without hitting the bunks. Now as reasonable as this sounds, the banks aren't gonna like us modifying their property. 
So if we order Glitch to pull to put the wall back where it was, I think our morale will go down. And morale is amazing in this game. So we're just gonna uh we're just gonna set uh man, if you know, if we could do this, we could get the, the bonus probably without it, but she doesn't have the technician keyword here. So sometimes if it picks a pilot that does have the technician keyword, it would unlock that one. But we don't, so we're just gonna spend the twenty thousand and we'll set money side money to pay the fine. And voila. You look glitch in the eye. You know how the chain of command works. You have to clear changes like this before you start. She shrugs. Well, can I? <laughs> you look over glitch's work. It's cleanly done, but no hazards. Take a break until I make a decision. During a chat with Darius, you compare the cost of the fines to the benefit of the mech warriors and decide it's worth it. We lose 20,000, but morale increases by one. And ultimately, morale will allow us to do precise shots and vigilance more often. So it's, it's going to totally be worth it. And already we're back where we started. And I can actually show a star map to make it. Actually, we can do that real quick. I'll just pause this really fast just to give an idea of what we just did. So uh, here's the star map. Here's the periphery. We were right here. We went here to get the actual priority mission. And now we're already heading right back. Um, uh, another favor? Yeah, sure. Shoot. Um, so this is the Regan Reach. This is the new directorate. This is where we were when we first started the game. This is the uh, kingdom that Lady Kamea was supposed to rule before she got blown up in a dropship. Um, yeah, sure. What, what kind of help you need, bud? Uh, and this is the Magistry of Canopus, where Lady Centrella is royalty from. Um, so anyway, and this is just empty space in the periphery where you get a bunch of independent systems. And then this is the border of the Inner Sphere. So this is the Capellan Confederation with House Liao. Uh, this is um, the Free Worlds League, which generally is House Merrick. And then over here, you got a little bit of Davian space with the Federated Sons. So that's kind of where we are. And there, here's the Torian Concordat. Anyway, just to give a quick update of where we are. Oh. Assuming this, this request for help is going to... Oh, another settlement. <laughs> another settlement needs your help. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Pokey. I just picked up on that good old, uh, good old Preston meme. <laughs> we've raved in our, we've arrived. Uh, blah. Yeah, we're right. Yeah, we can. Well, let's see. So, Commander, I'm setting a course for Lady Centrella's jump ship. It's strange though. This moon it's taking us to, Axelus, doesn't appear on any of my maps, which leads me to wonder, where exactly are we going, and how do they intend to get us there? Several hours later. Uncharted space. Oh, Minuteman, of course. That was one hell of a rough ride. My stomach is still doing somersaults. Yeah, what they what they just pulled was complete bananas. That's because those crazy bastards use a pirate point to get us here. If we'd suffered a misjump, a sour stomach would be the least of your concerns. The leopard would have gotten irreparably mangled. Hell, we could have been irreparably mangled. The cautionary holovids they showed us at the academy were the stuff of nightmares. So, um... We fucking hate robots. Fuck mutants. Oh, uh, Brotherhood of Steel. Um, so yeah, that's easy. Um, so in, in the Battletech universe, uh, cause the game didn't explain this. I think the game really kind of expects you to know all of this stuff. Uh, so for the benefit of anybody watching, uh, and likes the game, but didn't necessarily read up on all of the lore. Um, so what jump chips do is essentially it's like a weird type of teleportation where you go through little like mini wormholes from uh, that are kind of created from each star and you kind of jump from one star system to another. And that's how interplanetary faster than light travel in Battletech works. Um, so uh, min uh, railroad. Uh, so the jump ship jumps from one star system to another. But you generally go to either one of two points either the Nadir jump point or the Zenith jump point, because around the star, there are two mathematical points where you can jump to that are safe. So you either got your Zenith point on one side or the Nadir on the other. Anything else is considered a pirate jump point. And that's what these crazy bastards just did. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> kind of given the explanation uh, in context of what all of that kind of might mean. Um, so anyway, 
When exactly did you realize uh, Centrella's jump ship crew was planning on doing? As we were on our approach to dock with the jump ship, it was way out of position to use any legitimate jump point. Putting two and two together, I could guess at what they were up to. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. Here's the million Seaville question, Meyer. Why didn't you say anything before we jumped? Because it wouldn't have mattered if I had. We couldn't afford to turn down this job. Given the situation, I figured that ignorance was probably bliss. Actually, that's that's actually pretty rational on her part. We'll talk about this later, Meyer. But for now, what's done is done. We're here, and there's money to be made. Let's focus on the task at hand. The Argos crash site is here, smack dab in the middle of a pirate stronghold. The ship, the stronghold, and everything around it being uh, belong to a self-styled bandit queen called Rim Sybil, which is an awesome name, by the way. I I don't know. I don't know what you're going with there. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. Um, so anyway, her gang is the closest thing that Axelus has to a ruling council. Grim Sybil? Is that supposed to be scary? It sounds like the kind of name you'd choose out of a hat. What do their defenses look like? They're patchy at best. I don't think Axelus gets a lot of visitors. They have a uh, strong anti-air cover, but little in the way of ground-based defenses. I'm seeing a lot of vehicles, but battle mech activity looks light. Define light battle mech activity. What are we talking about exactly? I can't put an exact number on it. All I have are surface scans to go on. From what data I do have, I'd expect pirates to be able to field a full lance of light battle mechs. Ow, 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 ow. Mm. Um, all of them in poor repair. There are mixed reports of something bigger. That'll be Grim Sybil's mech. I don't have any information on tonnage or armament, but given the shape that everything else is on Axelus, I imagine it's being held together with chewing gum and bailing water. Uh, what else do you have on Grim Sybil? Before today, I never heard of her. Yeah, I hadn't either. Centrella's intel says that Grim Sybil mostly stays put on Axelus, but she's got at least a dozen pirate gangs operating under her banner, so she must have something going for her. Sybil's bio is pretty sparse. There isn't a lot of meat here. Just a note that she came up under Lady Paula Trevelyan, the pirate queen of the Tortuga Dominions. I guess that's impressive, having a personal connection to Lady Death and all. Okay, Lady Death now, on the other hand. That is fucking awesome. All that chicken shit to weld the joints. Um, um, yeah, I'm, 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 still, I'm still at a loss. I'm not really sure. Lady Death? Really? I swear, man, these pirate names are killing me. <laughs> are mech warrior call signs any better, Yang? Yeah, let me think about that one, boss. Renegade? No. No, I guess not. <laughs> Very clever, wise ass. Now knock it off. Darius, is there anything else worth mentioning in that file or we can get back to talking about the mission? Well, it looks like Trevelyan and Sybil had a bit of a falling out. That's not terribly surprising given the Pirate Queen's track record. Sybil managed to survive somehow, good on her, and she's been living on Axelus ever since. The rest of the report is just a rap sheet. Apparently our bandit queen has racked up an astonishing number of kills over the years, mostly against merchants and fighter uh, freighter crews, but kills all the same. She likes to get her hands dirty and she knows her way around a battle mech, and that's all I've got. Uh, ah, uh, NCR. Yep, okay, yeah, oh, okay, now, now that makes sense. Uh, so the pirates have vehicles and turrets. Maybe a few battle mechs. Got it. Keep going. The entire structure is surrounded by radar-guided anti-aircraft guns. Your first task will be to take down the radar towers so that Sumire can approach the Duralect. After you've secured the crash site, she'll dock with the Argo and drop off the engineering team. And then they'll miraculously get a 200-year-old wreck flying again. Lady Centrella has been a massive stack of sea bills that they will. For what it's worth, I believe that her chief engineer can pull this off. I'd never heard of Dr. Farah Murad before Lady Centrella mentioned her, but I did some digging after our meeting. She was telling the truth. The doc has quite a reputation. It's supposed to be some kind of frontier engineering wonderkind and a genius of bringing dead ships back to life. 
Guess we'll find out, won't we? For better or worse, yes, we will. I'll leave you to it, Marcus. Good hunting on the moon's surface. I'll be keeping an eye on you from up here. All right. So, yeah, we're going to we're going to do this and we've already upgraded our pilots as best we can. Um, normally, by this stage of this part, I like to at least have one of my pilots with uh, with the ability to sensor lock. But oh, well. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, good old Enclave. <laughs> yeah, and these, these Capture the Argo little blurbs are mostly just bits that we just went over here. So, but yeah, we're going to drop on Axelus, shut down the Pirate's anti-aircraft capabilities. We're going to hold out while the engineers bring the Argo back to life. Command interface and so, uh, reflecting a little bit of accurate physics, because we're in a vacuum, um, our mechs actually have a hard time venting heat, because if there's no medium to transfer that heat, it just kind of builds up. Welcome to Axelus, Commander. It's every bit as charming as you'd expect a pirate-occupied moon to be. You'll find Grim Sybil's radar stations just ahead. Defenses appear to be limited to turrets and ground vehicles, for the time being at least. We know that Grim Sybil has at least one Lance of Battle Max, so be ready for anything. Be careful of pirates' turrets to make a way onto the base. They pack a nasty punch. They can also sensor lock your Rex. Aim for the turret generator. That'll be the fastest way to neutralize the threat. That's kind of like what we did with the first couple of missions. And yeah, taking out the turret generator is way easier than fighting all the fucking turrets. And so this is the Argo right back here. This is the thing that Dr. Murad is going to be somehow getting uh, back to life. And here's pretty much this little pirate haven in here. Uh, under the pirates' radar station, uh, after the pirates' radar stations are down, you'll be clear to proceed to the Argo. Good hunting, Banner. Knock out the radar cover, crush any pirate resistance, and secure us that derelict. All right, so here we go. So we got two, uh, two radar dishes to go down. Our primary mission is to destroy this. This is one uh, radar installation. And here's the other one. We need to take out these, and here's the turret generator that we need to get, need to get rid of. Um, now, in my experience, going over this way, we're going to be too much in line of sight for a whole bunch of shit. So, we're going to go over this way and use... Uh, we're going to use the cover of this. Moving out. On my way. Yeah, we'll do this. Perfect. Yeah, that, that color scheme looks pretty nice. New sensor contact. Here we go. I know this is going to be a little bit of heresy, but I actually wasn't that big of a fan of uh, of New Vegas. One of these days, I'll actually have to go through and beat that game, but uh, but I actually haven't yet beaten uh, New Vegas. Commander. Surprisingly enough. Hmm. All right, so we can't get to that yet. I don't want to outstrip my... I want to outstrip everybody. Let's just... Let's go up here. Full throttle. Let's see. Let's see what the best approach is to this. Good to go. Let's go around this way. Moving back. Actually, I should have put her in the Vindicator. That's all right. Yeah, I'm hoping there's going to be some kaboom here. <laughs> yes, Commander. Take the road. Roger. Yeah, that spider can really move. I think what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to have him do some brace. Got it. All right. Let's reserve. Ready for orders. I don't think... Yeah, I could target the turret, but I can't target that. So I think what we're going to do here. I think this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to 
jump like in the race ahead here. I think what we're gonna do is gonna jump here. How far can I jump? I can jump there. So what I want to do is I want to be able to jump here. So I need to advance that much. Where? So if I'm about here, should still be in cover of that. All right, that, that should be adequate. Here we go. We're gonna try this, for better or worse. Ah. All right, you know what? Let's do that so at least I can fire at that. Uh, I hear ya. That's the case. You know what? We'll do that. We'll have her sprint. Double time. And then we'll shoot at the radar station from a little further back. No one else seeing this. Wake up, you idiots! We've got company! <laughs> but they're driving giant battle mechs. We can't fight against them. Any more objections? Good. Get out there and fight! So obviously she's not playing around. Uh, yeah, we're gonna stay on the road. Perfect. We'll start whittling down that. Oh, I missed with one. Damn. That sucks. Orders? Uh, I think I can. Oh, good. I can hit with the PPC and the LRMs. Perfect. Granted, that PPC is going to generate a crap ton of heat, but I generally do want to take down this radar tower as soon as we can. Every little bit helps. We're about to attract a lot of attention. Yeah, no surprise there. Good, no hits. One of the benefits of all that evasion. What do you need? So he gets to go first. Ah. Shit. Can't get to the turret generator this turn. Fuck. Fine, fine. It. But at least over here, I'll be able to jump to it next turn. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. I do not want these turrets getting the opportunity to kind of mess with me here. But that's all right. We'll take down the radar, radar station, Bravo. That'll be it for that. Brought it down. Still have so much evasion. It really doesn't matter. Sprint. Let's sprint and we'll come up this way. Full throttle. Start getting our way over here. Waiting on you, Commander. Yeah, I really don't want to shoot that. Help it. But at least here, she'll be able to jump up and get to that turret gener next turn. And this way, only that will be able to shoot at her. So yeah, this will do Pedal fine. The metal. But if you want Pokey, um, what I could do is so I, I could whisper you, I could whisper you on Twitch my my uh, my Discord invite code. Um, I'll, I'll take care of you off stream. No worries, buddy. I got you. Nope. 
There we go. Finally took damage. Perfect. Yep. Good. You guys miss. That's what I need you to do. I need to not take any damage during any of this bullshit. Aye, aye. Right, so yeah, we'll take cover. I need to... Oh, I can't hit that from here? Seriously? Oh, I need to be there in order to do it. And I'm overheating like a motherfucker. Let's just reserve. That's the only problem with that spider. It's got armor like tissue paper, so it really is a problem. That AC5 is going to be terrible to hit at that range. Um, I think I should go. Yeah, I think I'm going to need to end up needing to go there. Let's do that because this tank will have indirect fire at me. And if I'm, if I do this right, these turrets won't be able to get any kind of retribution uh, on me. So I'm going to take a little bit of a chance here. Affirmative. Try and take out this turret generator. I don't think she's going to take it out in one fell swoop here because it's got a hundred points of damage. It's going to take a hundred points to get it, uh, to kill it. Uh, I may as well save the other five. Um, one of the things I really should have done is um, fixed the uh, shadow hawk standing by perfect yep that's exactly what i wanted goodbye turret generator target acquired target destroyed perfect now the turrets are gone good to go can still target the bulldog but i like the idea of getting you although i could just jump over here and be annoying to this thing you know what let's do that we're gonna jump over here and be an asshole and then i'll brace definitely can't oh shit damn it is cooking my internal structure that's my fault. I didn't pay attention. I, I thought I had enough to at least jump, but not overheat. So there's a good demonstration. Uh, what? <laughs> yes, yes, it is. Uh, so yeah, I need to be more careful with that. God damn it. I just did a lot of damage to that fucking spider. Oh, it sucks. And it gives you a preview. There's really no reason to make that kind of an error. That was that was just stupid on my part. Hopefully I didn't do a lot of damage to it. it doesn't look like I did, but it still sucks. Yes, Commander. All right. Um, well, shit. I was hoping it would kind of shoot at me and I'd be able to just stomp on it. That was the idea there. Um, but you know what? Whatever. We're just going to move over here. And I'm going to brace and I'm going to cool off. It's like glowing red. Jeez, even moving. Cook. Even over there, I didn't vent enough to actually get onto the freaking. That was really, really bad. Um, what can I do for you? Yes, we're just gonna go over here and we're gonna smash the bulldog. Don't need to tell me twice. Not messing around. Because we do double damage with melee. That emoji. Hey guys, a good game. <laughs> Knocked out a mm. vehicle. So there's one vehicle down. Good to go. Yeah, I really screwed up with the spider. That really. We may as well just shoot at the radar tower. We'll deal with the tanks in a second. Perfect. 
this down. Receiving you. I think there's any way. Ooh, could go over here and shoot at the. Yeah, we'll do that. Why not? On my way. Let's see if we can at least take out this tank from here. That PPC, if that PPC hits, yeah, if that PPC hits, that t that vehicle's destroyed. Affirmative. Perfect. Enemy vehicle destroyed. All right. Not the end of the world. Yeah. Finally, Holding we cooled. Here. Finally, we cooled off to the point where we're not cooking our own mech. Good to go. Well, let's we'll save the AC5 ammo. We'll save that. We'll just shoot at you with that. Roger that. Firing on. Because we're gonna need this ammo. Ready to go? Teams list range general talk meeting room trade room. Oh, nice. Appreciate it. Excellent. We, oh, fire one. We'll just fire one laser. Be done with it. We can vent some heat this way. Perfect. That's done, it, Commander. The trip, uh, double A guns are down for now. Get to the crash site and secure the area. Uh, the area. Oh, we got a tank over here. I'll deal with that. Ready for orders. Let's go over here and take out this tank. Confirmed. If it's anything like the last one, one good PPC shot should take care of it. Yep, one good PPC shot, any location. Decker, just hit it, please. Confirmed. Thank you. Reporting, vehicle destroyed. Perfect. All right. Go. Coordinates received. Head back in here. How badly did I really? How badly did I fuck this? Man? Uh, wow! I did 56 internal damage to myself. Oh, that sucks. Oh, all right. Location. Well, what's done is done. I think I was way too used to uh, late game. Uh, the last time I played this where you kind of have higher heat thresholds and you can get away with jumping a lot more Forgot early game It's uh, it's a lot easier to cook yourself, but still I should have paid attention Shouldn't have done that Said I said I copy that we'll make it work Now, what we want to do is when we secure way. this crash site, we definitely want to okay, make sure confirmed. that uh, we are at maximum evasion. Because in typical fashion, the second we secure this thing, we're going to have some company. Still trying to come in here. Position confirmed. <sighs> yeah, that'll do. I'll Roger. just run around inside there. <laughs> that gives you a better scale of how big these things are. Yeah, these are not small robots. These are gigantic building sized. Uh, building sized mechs. Uh, it's pretty crazy. It's fine. Uh huh. On it. Crash site is secure. Sumeri, you've got a clear approach to the derelict. Two steps ahead of you, XO. Watch yourself, Commander. I'm coming in hot. 
Here's our leopard. Made the current wars, worst battles. So far. Ah, nice. Yep. The package to deliver, Exo. I'm taking the leopard to a safe distance before the pirates can get their guns running again. Roger that, Doc. Uh, Roger that, Meyer. Dr. Murad, your team is clear to enter the Duralect. I hear you, Mr. Olivia. We're making our way inside now. All right, people, you know what to do. Marines, clear the ship of pirates. With pleasure, Dr. Murad. We got Max. And now you see why I was like, yeah, we need to have maximum evasion <laughs> when we secure this shit. Uh... Yeah, I'd rather have the five evasion. Let's reserve and see who else over here gets to go. So now the game is try to figure out how we can, uh, you know what? I hear ya. Do this. You betcha. Yeah, next time I'm uh, between missions, I need to customize this Shadowhawk to make it a little better for short-range combat. Yeah, I'd rather make sure these things hit. Perfect. And we just destroyed his left leg and knocked it down. Excellent. Now that mech is a sitting duck for our uh, for our mechs. I think oh, Decker's all the way over there. Let me. Yeah, I don't like being right next to us because we end up getting hit with stray shots. But whatever. Let's do. Yeah, let's advance. Hopefully, this mountain in the middle kind of prevents a lot of nonsense. I should go for the other sh the other leg, but only 15% chance. That's that's just terrible. Um, yeah, I mean 40. Even if even if one of them hits, well, if one of the large lasers hits, the max toast. But we got half a chance here. Yeah, taking the percentages here. Let's just try to take this thing out of play. Assuming I hit. There we go. All right. Yeah, that was the better play. Just take the mech out of play. Can I send my Discord user for people in chat if they want to join? Um, let, let's not. Let's just handle that on, on Discord once we get that sorted out, if, if that's okay, Pokey. I, I appreciate that. Let's see. What's up, boss? Yeah, pretty much figured that. Receiving you. Let's see. Let's... All right, so if I jump over here... All right, so let's jump over here. Yep, and see it previews what the heat will be. That's what I should have done the first time. Uh, let's do that. I don't even know if I'm going to shoot. I think all I'm going to do is use Medusa here uh, just, to sp just as a spotter. Um, but, oh, wow, I could destroy that right now. So, yeah, let's let's do that. That's that's a problem. Yeah, that the medium lasers just cook, man. They just totally cook. Uh, you know what? 25 damage should kill this thing. Let's just shoot one and hope it kills it. Come on, buddy. Copy that. Yes, good. All right. My fear was that I would miss. <laughs> good deal. Vehicle trashed. All right, that works. Waiting for orders. Now. Good. And I can hit. Yep, perfect. I can hit that with a PPC, and we'll already start whittling down uh, some of these guys. Uh, favorite uh, favorite faction in Fallout? Mm, that's a oh, that's a good one. Um, what is my favorite faction? It probably is the Brotherhood of Steel. Although I would say it's it's Fallout 3's uh, Brotherhood of Steel with the Lion's Pride. Um. I was, I was a really big fan of them. Mm, 55%? No. We're going to do a precision strike. Not that it really matters. 
Uh, really, I'm just doing precision strike for the better hit chance rather than the location. I want to make sure this hits if I can. I'd rather take a 75% chance than a 50-50. Perfect. Good. That was worth it. Vehicle trash. Solid choice. I mean, you can't go wrong with NCR. This Jenner, this Jenner could be a problem. Especially if we had taken a lot of damage prior. Um, that's why taking damage with him kind of stunk. But that's all right. I'm just going to let him be here and target these guys. And he's got a bunch of evasion. So it's going to be really difficult to hit him. Good old Locust. The ultimate light mech harasser. Hey, Darkstar, what's going on, buddy? Before they went quasi-racist? Yeah, yeah, that was, like, really weird. That's all Maxon, man. See, I don't know how much of this you've uh, been picking up on Darkstar, but we're in the middle of a campaign mission here. Where we are, as in typical fashion, we started off outnumbered, but we're starting to whittle down uh, our forces here. Waiting for order. Yeah, let's go with Glitch here thinking oh god that's that's terrible uh holy shit all right how do i want to do this yeah that locust is really bad my precision strike that's not great but at least two of those should hit that is better you know what let's go after the jenner because the jenner is the bigger problem that's a problem all right let's go with that yep Perfect. Oh, nice. Excellent. How is Midnight Suns? So we did, did that good. It, ooh, that left leg is almost destroyed. Perfect. All right. Waiting now on you, we're going to send in glitch. And we're going to completely. Is that 50% because I got too close? No, it's just 50% because it's hard to hit. That's okay. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna do the same thing. Precision strike. We're gonna precision strike that Jenner. Because yeah, if I let that Jenner exist for a while, it's it's gonna make sure we have a really bad day. <laughs> this uh, this Jenner can be a real problem. Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother with the yellow rooms. Tell me what Perfect. To do. Takes care of that. All right, now I don't have to worry about the Jenner at all. I, I think it sounds like it would be. <laughs> and I'm totally game for acquired tastes. Yes, Commander. Um, like to me, the ultimate acquired taste game was uh, so like some of the Civ games or um, or Master of Orion. Um, there, there were the entry to those weren't weren't fantastic, but once I started playing them, oh my god, super addicting. A lot. Yeah, let's just take a shot with the PPC. Eh, it's crummy odds, but let's take the shot anyway. Why not? Firing on target. Ooh. <laughs> That's why we just Next take a puncher's it. chance. The pirates have Alpha Squad pinned down in the Argos main hallway. Bravo Squad. Bravo Squad is holding the door to engineering, but you better hurry up. Sergeant, talk to me. You betcha. Got it. That's my cat roaming around out there. Dr. Murad, what's happening in there? Come in, doctor. A little busy. The pirates are dead. But so are half of my engineers. It's an unholy mess in here. Bodies everywhere. Can you get the ship flying again? I need an update. Look, do you want me to talk or do you want me to fix the damn ship? You do your job, I'll do mine. Aye, aye. Oh, I can't do that. See, I went too fast last time. I'll totally overheat if I do that. Uh... 
All right, let's just sprint over here. I still have a shit ton of evasion. There's still something to shoot at. There we go. It'll work. Yeah, these lunar, lunar environments, it's really just a vacuum environment, are awful for heat. Oh shit, really? We're doing this? Crap. You know, I definitely don't want to be around there. I want to have a bunch of evasion. Uh, I don't want to do. Yeah, all right, fine. I guess we'll do that. So there's a method to this madness. Um, uh -huh. At least I'll be braced. So we'll have evasion and brace. You all jump up here. That'll be fine. Not crazy, right? Right? Okay. Perfect. I am remembering this correctly. Well, let's just have you sprint over this way, Medusa, for a minute. On my way. <laughs> We're going to have some reinforcements show up in a second. I was planning to ambush them, but I got over there too fast. But in a second, they should show up. There we are. Yeah, I was I was a turn too early. I wanted to have a shit ton of evasion and have them show up so they couldn't hit me, but oh well. You think you're going to steal my ship, you miserable little scrub? No, Woody steals from Grim Sybil. I'm going to carve you like a roasted pig. I love I, I love fucking Grim Sybil. She she just strikes me as like the Battletech equivalent of a fucking wrestler turned pirate. It's amazing. <laughs> but she's also in a fucking heavy mech, which at this stage of the game is bonkers. That's a big mech. Yeah, yeah, Darius. Yeah, it is. Fuck. <laughs> uh, but as Yang noted, observes. Yeah, but it's in terrible condition. Concentrate your fire and you should be able to take it. So on a previous playthrough, I got lucky and managed to, uh, um, okay, Discord is going bad. I need ideas of channels. Um, yeah, I don't know how much help I could be for you, Pokey, while I'm while I'm playing Battletech, but, um, but I will think of ideas of, of channels and, and we can, we can collaborate. Um, but if I think of any ideas while I'm playing this, I'll let you know. Um, I think yep. you're going to come back. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Five, four, hmm. Yeah, let's have you come over this way. Just so you, they have something else to worry about. But yeah, for scale, actually I should do I should do a scale thing. Uh, I'm going to zoom in here. For scale, the small, small, this small little tiny light mech, this little Medusa, this like 25 ton, 35 ton, whatever. A person is like as tall as the ankle on this thing. These are huge. Uh, wait, I got you. You can get better weapons with team points. Ah, nice. But anyway, I'm just going to brace here. I could have sprinted, but I decided just to move and brace. So I definitely don't want to take as much damage. Ah, oh, shit. You hit with all that? Oh, that guy must be a good pilot. But yeah, the Shadowhawk is a problem. Granted, the Shadowhawk has SRM ammo in the center torso. So that is always helpful. But yeah, this quick draw, this quick draw will absolutely murder us if we let it. Uh, so we need to, we need to make sure that, uh, that we take care of it uh, in as, in as quick a fashion as possible. Now the nice part about the quick draw is it's got jump jets. So that part is, is actually kind of cool, but, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to make sure Actually, what I should do is Vigilance. Yeah, what I should do is, is Vigilance. So we gain Guarded even though we're in the middle. Because, yeah, this thing is this thing is going to shoot at me. It's going to be bad. What can I do for you? I think we'll do this. Man. Still can't hit with LRMs to save my fucking life. Yeah, 
that's the problem. I'm within the minimum range of the LRMs. So, whatever. I think that's what I'm better off doing. But if I go here, I've got less of a chance for a stray shot. Let's just go here. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on the quick draw first. Because with the Shadowhawk, if I'm close to it, it's going to have a hard time hitting me with that AC5 and the LRM5. So I'm hoping that will get me through before we uh, really engage in all that stuff. Um, yeah, let's just fire at it. We got we got a pretty good chance to hit with that stuff. Perfect. Good, good, good. What the more? We like critical hits. Ready for orders. In this case, yeah. Just shoot it. Yep, hit it with everything. Uh, actually, nah, I'm still not good enough with my precision shot to really make a difference. Let's see what happens. Good, good, good. All right, so it can't hit me with the LRM-10 anymore. That's a surprise. I'm surprised it went after the Vindicator. Damage is minor, Commander. All right. So this was the advantage of um, of uh, Vindicator. I can go in this phase instead. Uh, it is much more damaged on its left side. So, but I can't really target its left side because the stupid mound is here. I can only approach it from this side or or the right side. That's unfortunate. Um, all right, so that being the case, let's go at it from, let's go at it from this spot. And we'll, oh, actually, my heat situation's pretty decent. You know what? Uh, oh, if I did this. Huh. If I do that, the problem is I can't undo it. Don't think. Yeah, I should be able to do this and not overheat. All right, let's do it. Let's just move a little. Oh, God damn it. That was the whole point. Whatever. All right, so I'll toggle one large laser off. But we're still going to be able to do a lot of fucking damage. Um, no, actually, you know what? I'd rather have... No, oh, yeah, definitely not having it. So, same amount of damage, less heat. All right, fuck it. Let's go for this. This should still do a lot of damage. Yep. We just destroyed its left torso. Enemy <laughs> TP. <laughs> nice. Very nice. That's terrible. That is not terrible. Move into position. All right. Now what we're doing here is sort of an unofficial precision shot because it doesn't have any of these components now. So if I'm shooting at this, it can only hit the center torso or uh, or the left leg or this left leg or there's like a small chance I can hit the head, but who really gives a damn about that? Um, so I'm probably hitting the center torso with two medium lasers. I will probably kill Grim Sybil here. Oh, except for the fact that Medusa frickin' missed! But it was still the smart play. <laughs> that was the right decision. It just didn't work out. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. That's all I right. I hear ya. Ooh, but I could do a melee attack from the same di from the same thing. But uh, probably still better off just shooting. I'll do more damage shooting. We'll do this. Yeah, unfortunately, I really can't do a whole lot with those LRMs. What I gotta do is I gotta swap out that LRM-5 and SRM-2 for an SRM-6. Got it. That's what I really need to do with that Shadowhawk. I should have done that before. I just forgot last stream. No worries. We'll deal with it this time. Yeah, why not? Fuck it. Hit all the buttons. No. There we go. This moon is mine. You can't... Did you see that? Did you see it? What's up, boss? 
now we can go after this guy. And the nice part about the PPC, it gives them a debuff to hit. Orders. Which is always nice. Which is oh so very nice. All right, so we've handled this pretty well outside of uh, an unforced overheat error. I cop. Not bad. Not bad. Up. Oh. Bastard. Warning. Armor breached. Internal damage. Yeah. Got to go. That that sucked. Got it. Yeah, that's all right. There's more where that came from. Standing by. Good old return fire. Now, well, there's that. Yep, that's what I thought. Yeah, just shoot with the PPC. Locked on. And then we'll hit it with some melee here. And the cool part, when you melee, it still will attack with the supplemental weapons. Hey, Phoenix, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, right? Shh. It's dark. I'm sitting low. <laughs> nice. Nice. How you doing, Phoenix, buddy? We're just playing some more battle tech here. And this was going according to plan until they started doing some structural damage to me. Let's see. Come on. Ah, it's all right. Ooh, it's unsteady now. So, uh... Yep. Okay, now that this is unsteady, we're going to do a melee attack on it. I'm going to try and knock it over. I don't think I'm going to do enough. Oh, that sounds like a raid. Hey, freak bot. Hey, Nikki. Hey, everybody. I don't think I knocked this thing over. Um... He actually got me just as a, hey, Kara, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, Phoenix, Phoenix just showed up, kind of went silently, sat dead, ate some Doritos, and then everything went crazy. <laughs> How is everybody? Uh, let's see. Let's try. Let's try this. Let's make sure. Perfect. All right. Got these all fixed now. Actually, Kara and uh, Phoenix would have a lot in common. Uh, you guys are both uh, martial arts aficionados. Um, oh, ran out of plot so just stick around. <laughs> nice, nice. I mean, it's kind of fun to just dick around in Sudden Bori. Tons of side quests. I'm surprised you didn't go to the arcade and just play the Gravity arcade machine. Um, yeah, so I ended up just needing to log into Stream Elements, and I just needed to disjoin the bot and just rejoin it. That, that's all it took. I, I think I was just inactive for a really long time. Um, so it, it wasn't, wasn't too hard to fix, uh, fortunately. So, uh, but anyway, um, yeah, welcome, welcome Raiders. I think you all know me anyway, but I am Resplendent Seraph. We're playing Battletech. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, can you imagine? What is this? A crossover episode? Switch to some water here. Made the mistake of drinking a little too much Coke last stream when I got back. My voice was not ready for that. Because I totally don't know who you are, right? Right? <laughs> but just in case anybody's new, um, you know, we, we have a good time here. Um, so, uh, excellent, excellent. Should we have a crossover toy collection of human and Ninja Turtles? <laughs> so, of course, with the crossover episode, that was a, uh, that was a reference to um, BoJack Horseman and... Um, Oh God, the freaking dog. And now I'm blanking on the name. Um, oh my God. I can't believe I can't remember the dog's name from horse from Bojack Horseman. That's going to drive me crazy. I'm not going to look it up. I'll, I'll just remember it eventually. Uh, money, money, money. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, Mr. Peanut Butter. Thank you. Thank you. I would have eventually remembered, but you know, so, um, Oh yeah, we're we're gonna knock this thing over. We're 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 about to beat the ever living shit out of this thing. Uh, we'll toggle off the LRMs here. So um, basically, we got hired to uh, escort a doctor, uh, an engineering doctor, to uh, on a pirate base, to 
liberate this gigantic ship here, the Argo, which is a 200 year old uh, drop ship. Um, and so our our uh, our client paid us to go uh, to go take care of that. So uh, anyway, that's what we're that's what we're in the process of doing. And as usual, things went a little unscheduled and uh, we're just kind of wrapping up here. <clears throat> perfect. Yep. Now we're now we're really kind of taking over. Yeah, it should knock over. Yep. Perfect. This guy's going to take a tumble and we're about to take care of business. Sounds like a subplot of an aliens movie, right? Uh, yeah, let's just we're going to stomp on this guy because I'm overheating. Yep. Do some physical damage to it and then we'll shoot it with more lasers. No, we didn't do any actual uh, I'm surprised. You. I figured we'd do all sorts of damage to that, but whatever. Let's try and core it. Let's go for the kill here. We got a 50 50 shot at taking this thing out entirely. Firing. Good night. Get your lance to the Argo commander. I'm just about done. Vietnam music. <laughs> oh, Raider. Uh... Ah, nice. Big ears. I'll have to check that out. All one play. Okay, so once we get back to the main menu, uh, I'll, I'll, I could give you an update on that. But no, it takes place on a bunch of different planets. Um, so the lore of BattleTech is it's it's a far future. I want to say that we're in the year thirty twenty five ish. I, I think that's the year that we're in. Um, it's between the third and fourth succession war, so it might actually be earlier than that. Um, once it gets to the main map, I think it'll tell us what year. But yeah, it's an interstellar space opera type thing. But um, but it's also very reminiscent of uh, the fall of Rome. So in the Battletech universe, the fall of Rome, uh, Rome is the Star League. And when the Star League fell apart, all of the various successor states just started warring with each other for a couple of centuries. And um, people's knowledge of technology just completely disintegrated. So now you're dealing with stuff that like is really old. It's actually the really good stuff. And the stuff that's new kind of sucks. And uh, it's a really, really interesting setting. Uh, oh, right, I got to go over here. But help if I was paying attention. Moving out. Um, now we just have to go into the evac Lifting zone. Off. And uh, as soon as we do, the mission will be successful. And we will earn ourselves some, some nice scratch. <clears throat> uh, I'll probably be playing. I'll probably be on stream for at least another good 40 minutes. We'll see what happens once it gets to 10 o'clock. Uh, I, I generally have been getting a little sleepy, but I guess it depends on what we're doing and uh, how my endurance is going. So I, I guess we'll play it by ear how late I, I stream tonight. It's done. I can't believe it. It really worked. The engines are online and I have thrust control. Go now, celebrate later. <laughs> Thank you, Darius. Roger that. Hang on, Commander. For the first time in two centuries, this beast is going to fly. Mission successful. Nick's feeling good. I went to work today. Uh, granted, it was only a half day, but but still, I, I went to work. I then promptly came home and took a nap for a couple hours, but but yeah, it's 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 good. So we accomplished all of these um, all of these objectives. Um, life is good. We made some really nice money. I mean, we only have 770 uh, K and now we basically just doubled our funds. Um, so yeah, we were four mechs and we ended up killing five mechs and four tanks. So yeah, we were, we were like outnumbered two to one on this mission. It was pretty bonkers. We did take some damage, but nothing crazy. We didn't lose any components. All in all, not not too bad. Yeah, I really do have a W surgeon. Uh, my my surgeon was was really really great. Uh, I, I was uh, I was really lucky. All right, so let's take a let's take a look at the damage here. I really should take that quick draw salvage because the earlier I can get a heavy mech of any type, I really should take it. Um, unfortunately, we're probably not going to get any good stuff in here. Let's take a look. Yeah, I'm not seeing any really great components. I think I still have a couple of spells. Well, I don't have any spares, so I should take a large laser spare in case my large laser gets damaged. And we'll take that salvage and we'll see what else we get. 
All right, this doesn't look too bad. We did pick up a couple of AC5s. Not bad. Got a couple of SRM. Got an SRM6 and an SRM2. That's nice. Let's continue. I know we got some more plot. And we'll probably see Freakbot again in another five minutes after he gets some Oreos. That's usually his post-stream celebration. <coughs> Can't wait till these stitches fall out. No, doesn't really hurt. And now this is a bit of a surprise. Lady Urano, back from the dead. <laughs> <clears throat> I like that they did this early. They didn't like drag it out. And now we find out how uh, this is going on. You've done excellent work, Commander McDougal, and you've earned yourself an opportunity to do more. Meet your real client. I don't believe that she needs an introduction. I'm happy to see you, Renegade. Or should I say, Commander? You've done well for yourself. The old man would be pleased. Must come as a shock to you seeing us here at Alloway, seeing us at all. I apologize for that, but I had to make sure you were the mech warrior I remembered before I reached out to you. And now with the Argo on its way to Luritan for repairs, I know you are everything I remember and more. Um, let's see. <laughs> yeah, that one's a little rude. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to go with none of that matters, Lady Arano. I'm just happy to see you alive. Yes, but how? Darius asks. Forgive me, Lady Arano, but you're supposed to be dead. Lord Madeira, too. The news feeds ran footage of your dropship getting blown out of the sky on a loop for months. That wasn't her dropship. The broadcasts of her death were director at propaganda. Well-crafted lies to keep the masses in line. And with that, Kamea, I'll leave you to your reunion. Best of luck with the negotiations and keep me apprised of whatever decision you come to. And with that, Lady Centrella's face winks off of the view screen. The dull blue glow of her hollow projection slowly fades away. Lady Centrella is right about the propaganda, Renegade. My uncle's directorate is run on lies, though in this case, they very nearly became true. The directorate's assassins pursued us into the frontier, <clears throat> in the months following the coup, we had more than our share, of fair, uh, our share of close calls. Eventually, they gave up looking for us, and we've been living in exile ever since. Where have the two of you been hiding for the past three years? As far from the Directorate space as we could get without leaving the frontier, a miserable little ball of rock called Xanthrus. It was a nasty, brutish planet full of internecine strife and bloody turmoil. There were more power struggles of mad nobles, plagues, and zealots, and holy wars. So you're saying it was a typical frontier world. <laughs> more or less, living on Cormoradir, I heard stories about the problems that many frontier systems faced, but I was detached. I never saw how rough life was outside of the Oregon Coalition, uh, or never saw how rough life outside of the Oregon Coalition could get. My uncle's coup changed everything, Renegade, including me. You had Centrella send us after the Argo. I'd like to know why. As part, or in part, as a test of your abilities to make sure that your performance on Coromadir wasn't a fluke. Our experience in the coop has taught us to be careful, Commander McDougal. We couldn't just reach out to you on faith. But the Argo herself is important as well. She isn't just a ship renegade. She's a symbol of reclamation and rebirth and the return of better days. You'll see for yourself soon enough. She was a majestic vessel once, a true product of the Star League. Under Dr. Murad's care, she will be again. Okay, you made it off Cormadir and you found me. Let's talk about why. <laughs> Makes noodles. You want some noodles? I like noodles. I imagine you've already guessed. I intend to seek justice for my uncle's crimes. I intend to take. I intend 
take my throne back. But I can't do it without you. Hello, cat. We have resources, an armory, an army drawn from across all across the frontier. Perhaps most importantly, we have the patronage of Lady Centrella and the tacit support of her government. That means money, a great deal of money. <laughs> Obligatory. Uh, I like money. We should hang out. <laughs> Uh, and my ancestry comes from the Magistry of Canopus. So yeah, we're going to go for, uh, my family hails from the Magistry. I know that my people don't, uh, didn't hold the Regan Coalition especially high regard, so why are they helping you? Because we're useful. The Magistry sees Kamea's claim to the throne as an asset worth paying for. They want to see the Directorate dealt with, but it isn't in their interest to do it themselves. They'd prefer to keep their hands clean. The Rimworld Periphery is a powder keg, Renegade. Tensions between the, between the Torian Concordat and the Federated Sons are high, and my uncle's military posturing could be viewed as a provocation by either side. Once all this plot goes by, I'll, I'll go back to the star map and I'll explain some of the politics of the Battletech universe. Uh, if open conflict between superpowers were to erupt, it'd be difficult for anyone to remain neutral. The Magistry wants to avoid getting dragged into a major war. And your house central is best hope for a clean solution. They fill your war chest, you remove the directorate from the board, and the Magistry lets tensions between the Federated Sons and the Torians simmer down all on their own. Am I reading this situation correctly, Lady Arano? Correctly enough, Mr. Olivia. But understand that this isn't just about diffusing a dangerous situation. For me, taking on the Directorate is personal. My uncle betrayed me. The Founding Council's been reduced to a handful of powerless figureheads. Our very identity has been cut away and discarded. House Espinosa is long overdue for a reckoning. And with your help, I will bring them one. Join with me, Renegade, and we will not fall. I'm going to do this. You've already sold me on this, Kamea. I pledge myself and my company to your cause. I was hoping you'd say that. Of course, you cannot wage war on my behalf while your travel restrictions remain in place. And so, I shall break them. Now that you have pledged yourselves to me, I will buy your company's debts. All of them. You'll be free to travel and seek clients as you please, so long as you come to me when I call for you. And on the day that I reclaim my throne, your obligation to me will be forgiven, your debt wiped clean. Of course, you'll also be paid for every battle you fight at our behest, at a rate that you that will feel quite generous given the clientele that you're accustomed to. Thanks to House Centrella, we have money to burn. I certainly like the sound of that. Origin betrayed. I took down the scum that betrayed my family, Kamea. It seems only right that I help you do the same. Thank you, Renegade. I feel that Raju Montgomery is smiling down on us, even now. I'll take my leave of you now. I have an army to rally and preparations to make. But it won't be long before I contact you again. And when I do, I'll need you ready. Prepare yourself and your company, Renegade. Our war is about to begin. So yeah, Lady Urano just bought up all our debt, Commander. That means no more banks restricting our jump ship access. We could travel to more systems, but we should still uh, should still steer clear of the major states. We don't want to look like we're going to cut and run. Good news, Commander. Once Dr. Murad and her crew got that wrecked ship away safely, they found most of a Centurion in his cargo hold. It's not equipped for combat yet, but with a little, a little love and attention, I think I could return it to service. Swing by the mech bay to check it out and order a refit. We will be that doing that. The Centurion is a much better mech than the uh, Blackjack. So we'll, we'll take a look at that. So now I can answer some of chat's questions now that we're not stuck in the uh, plot loop. So the Battletech universe. This star map is woefully incomplete. It's just this region of space, but this is what's affectionately called the periphery. So much further in this direction is Terra, Earth. Um, and around Earth, you generally have the successor states, the parts that were originally part of the Star League and what's called uh, the region of space known as the Inner Sphere. That's where the still the best parts of civilization still are, even though it's a far cry from the peak of civilization that was the Star League. And the very perimeter of the Inner Sphere is pretty much this. So you've got the Free Worlds League here with House Merrick. This is the boundary here. This is the Capellan Confederation with House Leo. And here are the Federated Sons with House Davian. He had a lot of feudalistic type stuff going on here. Um, and then on this side of this boundary, you've got the periphery. So this is the Oregon Directorate where Lady Kamea's uncle has kind of taken over. Cormordir, I think, is over here. Nope, that's Gildra. There's Cormordir. So here's the capital. Um, but yeah, this this was this used to be a good place, and now this is very, very hostile territory. Here's the Torian Concordat, and tensions 
uh, are high between the Federated Sons and the Torian Concordat. That's what's going on here. And here is the Magistry of Canopus where Lady Centrella is from. Um, so that's kind of the Cliff Notes version of what's going on. But yeah, you've got a gigantic uh, region of sp interstellar space where you go to all sorts of different planets. Uh, we, can, we can go to a whole bunch of different places. So for example, Alloway, it's rocky, barren, uh, kind of gives you a brief, I'm not going to read all of these, obviously, but um, a lot of the planets are very, very different. Um, it's just a very rich, uh, a very rich deep lore setting. Um, does it tell us what year we're in? I don't think it tells us what year we're in. Um, I think it's a little vague on that, but I do know that this whole thing does take place bef between <laughs> uh, it does take place between what's affectionately called the Third Succession War and the Fourth Succession Wars. The Succession Wars, of course, being when all of the major powers of the Inner Sphere are fighting to determine which of this, which of the leaders of those nations uh, earns the right, essentially by defeating the others, to become First Lord of the New Star League. And so, yeah, they, there's just been a, centuries of civil war and anguish and just misery. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it's pretty awesome um and it's it is a very political setting there are all sorts of books uh, all a lot of them good bread for war is one of the better ones um but anyway so without going on a complete tangent in that way oh and each uh stand, like for example holloway we've got merrick here with the free worlds league they're an active uh faction here we also have cannabis the local government itself and pirate faction is um active here as well so let's let's take a look at this mech. Actually, let's take a look. Well, yeah, let's take a look at the mech bay because we definitely need to, at the very minimum, we need to repair this. Okay, that'll only take one day and that will take, Jesus, that'll take six days. That sucks. Uh, all right, so if I wait a day, I could still run missions with the Locust instead of the Spider. And then we also have the Centurion. So let's take a look and let's see if there are any missions that, that we could do. <laughs> I love the emojis. Um, no, oh, and there's the, nothing we could do. All right, so we've, but we've got a the Magistry of Cannabis is willing to pay for us to go to the planet Detroit. It'll take 22 days. Oh, but they're going to hire us to go after pirates. All right, we're not going to do that. Really, really, really don't want to do that. All right, we got 2 million sea bills. Let's take a look at the store and let's see what's here. Uh, I don't have. So this is actually a really good mech to have. The problem is early game, the, in my experience, Marauder Salvage and Warhammer Salvage is just not very reliable. And so you end up taking real risks to try to put together a mech on that. And what I don't want to do is spend like half of my net worth and not be able to put this mech together for a very long time. But there are two mechs that are very easy to put together because they're pretty much very common if I just kind of maneuver around the star systems. And that's, uh, those are archers and uh, victors. Even though victors aren't necessarily all that good, but it's an assault mech, uh, which is, you know, definitely helpful as far as armor and all that. But um, so anyway, but I could take a risk and try putting together a Marauder or a Warhammer, which are objectively better than either an archer or a, um, or a victor but again it's, it's you know risk it's risk reward it's it's hard um i could buy the exchanger that helps with heat management um so now we get to a part of the game where you also get into like management of resources and um uh, customizations so let's see uh i really would like an ac do they have an ac10 shit they don't have an ac10 and i don't think i've got an ac10 either yeah i don't have an ac10 that's a freaking problem uh all right so what do i want to do with that because a, a centurion should have an ac10 in it let's take a look let's take a look at the at the centurion yeah it only has a medium laser has no freaking weapons in it so i could put an ac5 in there but i that's that sucks all right so that being the case what i'm inclined to do is oops, let's go to the star map and let's try and find a better place to go. We've got a travel contact here, but Herodotus, if I remember correctly, is a fun place to go. 
we hopefully will have better missions. And, uh, let's see, what's another good one? Kimi is also another good planet, but that is a really good planet to buy shit. Because, uh, there's, uh, SLDF ruins, which means, ah, uh, all right, Pokey, have a good one, man. Have a, have a good night, and we will see you on the next one. Um, so I'm inclined to go to Herodotus. Um, wait, where am I? Oh, yeah, uh, I'm inclined to go to Herodotus because it does have a black market, even though it's not going to matter right now. But uh, it does have a couple of factions that I like to go to. It's just a li it's going to be a little expensive to go to at this stage because we do have to pay for the jump ship travel. <sighs> Hopefully it doesn't completely hose me over with missions like it's been doing. Um, but yeah, we got it. We, get, we I think we I think it's worth a try. I think it is worth a try. But you know what we could do? Let's save. Let's save so that if it really, really fucks us, we can do that. And of course, I could talk to all these people. Um, here's our pilot. How can I help, Commander? And we can we could kind of meet her and also talk about some of the stuff that uh, um, happened in between missions. So they get some unique dialogue in that. Um, but considering how how dialogue heavy things were, I'm going to come back to that a little bit later. Uh, I'm just going to get back to it. See you later, Sumeru. Commander. That's not going to expire. We can always talk to her again uh, later. Let's go to Herodotus, for better or worse. Let's go with this. Roger that, oh, actually, before we do pilot. that, let's pause and let's refit the Shadowhawk. That we definitely want to do. Refit the Shadowhawk. So we got the Blackjack. That's going to be fixed in today. We got the Spider that's, under, that's getting repaired. Let's also refit that, since we got a good three, three months to go. Let's replace the LRM. We're gonna get the SRM ammo out of there. That's that's terrible. Uh, let's put in an SRM six. We still have a ton to go. Um, so we could put in some more SRM ammo if we wanted to, but we could just improve the armor of this mech. I'm inclined to improve the armor. Um, yeah, it actually improves the damage output too, because the SRM is be does better damage. But this way, we don't have to worry about it. We could just close distance, and, uh, and we don't have to worry about it as much. The only problem is the AC5 has a minimum range, but you know, so it goes. Uh, or, or you know what we could do? Let's put in a small laser. There we go. That way, as we close, we can do a little bit more damage. All right. Yep. More armor. Put in more armor here. Perfect. Now a little more survivable. I like this. I like this. Oh, we could have gone all in to try to... Um... Oh, no worries. Um, I'm just talking to myself here. <laughs> You're all good. You know I'm, I'm very lurk friendly and chat friendly. Um... So, some of the planets have um, keywords for, like, low gravity and whatnot, but no, there's no mechanical difference, but they do introduce that into the lore of the setting. So, in the books, yes, but as far as the game goes, uh, they, did, they didn't overcomplicate it, but, um, so, but they, do, they do acknowledge that in the lore, um, but fortunately, I don't have to worry about that uh, in the game, but yeah, in the books... For the low I'm gravity worlds, yeah, jump jets, mechs, mech pilots love those because they jump like twice as far and, and shit like that. It's pretty awesome. Organized chaos. In the morning briefing, Yang jumps right in. Commander, the leopard is too small. My mech techs keep tripping over everything. Chief, we've talked about this, Darius says in exasperation. We can't exactly knock down any walls. Sumeri inserts herself. What if we moved some supplies into other parts of the Leopard? The bunks, the kitchen? Hell, I'll even store some boxes in the cockpit if it'll help. Yang rubs his chin. Yeah, if I had some breathing room for a week, I could reorganize and make room for everything to move back. Um, I think if I fill every last corner of the Leopard with mech space supplies, I think it lowers my morale. I don't really remember. And if I tell Yang to just make do, I think there's a... Um, a mech tech penalty. So let's let's hedge our bets and move only a small amount of supplies. Perfect. Okay. Over the next several days, everyone helps move the least critical mech base supplies to other parts of the Leopard. 
While emotions do get heated over the next week, the short duration of the project encourages patience. Before long, Matt Yang and his technicians reclaim their supplies. His mood, at least, is much as better than anyone else's. When you arrive in the mech bay, he's grimly satisfied with the amount of reorganization he managed in the short amount of time. The company gains a one-point tech boost for 14 days, which mechanically means these things will get up and running a little faster. But it's still going to take us forever to get to Herodotus. It's really not going to matter. I've got the financial report. Yeah, unfortunately, our finances are still expensive as shit. Um, yeah, we need to make 300. Basically, we need to make 300,000 C, but well, 250. This is what we need to make per month just to break even. The life of a mercenary. That's not even counting the fact that I just spent 130K just on travel fees to get to Herodotus. I'm hoping that that, uh, that planet pays off. And yeah, when I first set up my stream, I set it up for 21.9. Um, solar chat. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep. I wrapped up that job you asked for, Commander. Perfect. Actually, you know what? Why don't I at least put in at least a couple of things in that Centurion? Could at least do a couple of these things. Let's, uh... Yeah, I could at least load the LRM-10, because uh, the standard one has an LRM-10, two medium lasers. Yeah, let's do that. LRM-10, you're over here. Uh, you're supposed to have two medium lasers. So we could do that. Um, I mean, I suppose what I could do is just put an AC-5 over here for now and get it up and running. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's just do that for now. And what I'll do... Oh, I don't have any more support weapons I can pack in there. AC5 ammo, AC5 ammo. Um, LRM ammo. Uh, how much ammo do they usually pack in this thing? Okay, they usually pack two. So let's do that. Um, still have a bunch of tons, but that's because it's normally used to an AC10 uh, in there. Not, not this thing. Um, let's see, what else can I put in this? Just for now. Um, let's see, we could put in an SRM-2 just to do. Just to do it. I don't have an SRM-4. Uh, you know what? I could put in an SRM-6 just for now. Really load up with, uh, with that. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Even though it's kind of silly to have long range and short range in the same mech. Oh, I know why I don't do that. You need more armor. You need more armor desperately. Let's, let's improve the armor situation. So there's that. Um, hmm. If I just do that, I still have th two and a half tons to fill here. So I could put in an SRM-2 just to do it. And then when I get an AC-10, it makes my life a little easier. Yeah, all right, sure. This is probably going to be the difference. Two tons, I think, is about the difference between an AC-5 and an AC-10. I think so. It'll at least help when I'm close up. It sucks that I don't have a support weapon to work with, but that's fine. Um... Yeah, let's at least improve that. Oh, wow. Yeah, let's do that. Let's improve the center course up. There we go. All right. All right. At least now the Centurion is basically up and running. Sure. Fuck it. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. Perfect. Yep. And I'll have the Centurion when we get to Herodotus. So at least I'll be able to use it. And so what makes the Centurion nice is this arm, because it doesn't really have any components in it generally, um, can just get blown off and it's really not that big a deal. Uh, feeling your show right with Blast Corpse on Nintendo 64. All right, man. Enjoy the riding. Yay, riding. I really should do more of that too, myself. Um, hell, I'm not even sure how much later I'm going to be at this. We're starting to kind of cruise, creep up on... Uh, on 10 o'clock here. Although I've only been streaming for about two hours, but but I'm, I'm 
my eyes are getting a little a little droopy so i guess we'll see what happens we'll play it we'll probably do another mission or two uh and just kind of hang out and and pretty much talk whatever whatever kind of conversation comes up we end up finding ways of finding all sorts of stuff to talk about <laughs> things just tend to come up but yeah i love the i love the visuals of the game and it's pretty uh lightweight And it's amazing what uh, my new loop, uh, as far as my new water loop in this computer, um, it went from, I didn't even put the heatsink back on the, uh, back on my video card. My video card now just has the normal backplate on it. I must have, I must have foobarred something with the, um, with the pasting here. Hold on a second. Uh, on our way to the Leopard's Galley, you run into Sumiri heading the same way. Commander, it's been a long week. I know we can't make more hours in the day, but I can make more coffee. When you enter the cramped galley, you find Medusa and Behemoth in a tense standoff in front of a near, nearly empty coffee pot. Medusa sees you, Commander. This is the last of the coffee. The Exo says we won't have any more until the next supply run. And just as an aside, I love these little stories that help make this whole mech company feel alive. Um, Behemoth. Uh, shoves her way forward. I got here first and he almost stole it while I was looking for my favorite mug. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we could just give the coffee to Samire. We could take the coffee for yourself or we could split the coffee between them. Um, I think I'm going to go with split the coffee between them here. And, uh, all right, so that ended up being the right decision here. Exasperated, you squeeze your way past them into the galley and take two cups, pouring the coffee equally into both. You say, can't act like adults. You'll have to resolve this like your children. You hand one cup to Medusa and one to Behemoth. Drink up. The next time I send you planet side, I expect you to make every single shot. After they leave, Samiri sighs as she stares at the empty pot. That better have been worth it. Now excuse me while I go discuss shopping priorities with Darius. But Medusa and Behemoth have gained high spirits, and essentially mechanically what that means is that when we're in combat, it will cost them less to use precise shot and vigilance which is awesome. Uh, so anyway, um, but yeah, with uh, I, I took apart my computer last week and put it back together and repasted all the things and swapped the water and everything else. Um, and prior to that, without a heat sink on it, my temperature on my RAM for the video card would hit like 105 Celsius, whatnot. Uh, and right now it's maxing out at a cool 82 degrees Celsius, which is still pretty warm, but um, considering under load, that's a huge, huge freaking difference. So yeah, I don't know what, I don't know what the hell I, I, I must have screwed something up uh, the first time around. But uh, but yeah, no, so it, obviously that made a difference. I'm, I'm glad I did some computer maintenance. Um, now we hope for some better contracts. Come on, give me some better work, especially pirate missions. We love pirate missions. Oh my God. Look at all these planetary government missions. This is bullshit. But that's all right. At least they're giving us, uh, at least they're giving us a couple of missions here. All right, so, all right, so this is good. We can do the local pirate organization to go after local government. So we're gonna do this one for sure. Uh, so we'll do this mission and then we'll do this mission. And then I guess we'll see what we could sell and uh, whatnot. So anyway, the uh, mission profile here, we're planning an operation and to pull it off, we need the local government authorities to be temporarily distracted. We need you to create that distraction. We'll point you at a local government patrol. You do something loud and fatal to them. Meanwhile, we execute our operation and give you a cut of the proceeds. Oh, and there may be reinforcements. That's good. That's one less lance to get in our way. And I love Darius's <laughs> nothing but a bunch of boring shooting loots. Yeah, right. Uh, but I love Darius's commentary of like, I really like loud and fatal as a job description commander. I may get it put on a plaque. <laughs> but yeah, the pirates are actually good uh, to get in with in this game. So uh, but I also I, we need money. So I'm going to take more money and less salvage on this. And uh, oh, one of the other nice things apart this. As you can see, the target, whenever it's planetary government, you can't gain reputation with this faction. So I always try to take missions against them because you can't get penalized for it. And I hate taking missions for them because it means I'm going to take reputation damage with somebody. So I, I only take missions for the planet for a local government. Essentially, in this case, it's the Herodotus government. 
if I'm really, really low on uh, on C bills. But uh, fortunately, we're not going to have that problem here. All right. So, oh, wait, Centurion's not ready. Why is the Centurion not ready? Hold on a second. Let's go back. Centurion. All oh, right. The tech boost ended. So we have like four days worth. All right. Fuck it. We'll do missions first and then we'll we'll do we'll do that. It's all right. So yeah, Shadowhawk, Vindicator, Spider. Yeah, we're all right. But I definitely want to have Behemoth in here now that she's not injured. And we'll go with... Uh, oh, fuck. One other thing I forgot to do. Mech Warriors. We gained experience. And we are going to use it. Ugh. Yeah, all right. So we're going to take... We're going to take Sensor Lock. Mech Warrior training complete. Commander. Definitely want that. Um, let's see. Waiting for orders. Yeah, well, you're an easier one. We'll just take training confirmed. Health commander. orders. I do like you being a pilot. We'll do this. Training complete. Um, orders. Can't do that because you weren't Standing on the last good mission. To go. Yeah. What the hell am I gonna have you do? You know what? We'll do guts with you. Yep. Mech warrior training. You'll be a defender. Complete. Perfect. Okay. Third time's the charm here. <laughs> it's time for loud and fatal. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. This will work. And jungle biomes aren't necessarily great for heat, but it's certainly going to be better than what we just dealt with. Although, man, now I'm hungering for some ice cream. I want ice cream so bad right now. I don't know why I'm craving ice cream in the worst freaking possible way. So we got to do, uh, we're going to do a distraction here. We're going to blow up an enemy lance and uh, make a distraction. And there's probably going to be reinforcements. That's kind of a theme of this game. It's a lot like Rob playing uh, Namco and uh, Namco uh, X Camcom, uh, Namco and Capcom. Um, we're just, always going to be horrendously outnumbered and sometimes hilariously outnumbered and <laughs> when one of the other themes of the game shows up i'll i'll kind of comment on that uh because it's probably going to happen here so anyway our target should be somewhere in this vicinity let's hit them hard and get them all looking in our direction oh and remember there will likely be reinforcements commander now a lance might just be Ooh, tanks and vehicles Look at it. so hopefully that's the case here so we're going to go along the coastline here. One of the nice parts is if we do overheat, we can go out into the water here and cool off. Copy that. Uh, and we also have different environmental hazards. So if we're in the spore field, it'll slow us down. We, uh, we take additional damage when hit due to the corrosive effects, but there's a plus four difficulty to hit units passing through them. So um, it's useful to pass through them but not stand in them if we can help it. Uh, but anyway, so I don't really want to get too far ahead. Location we'll just confirmed. have you go and cover here. This will work. My guess is that we're going to run into a patrol of vehicles. But we'll see. We'll see. And usually I like having elevation. Uh, just because high ground is usually better. But again, when we're dealing with jungle and heat and everything else, I think I would like to be closer to these, to the water here. It's always like a good, but that's one of the things I like about this game. There's always like a good strategic decision to be made um, when we go about this. Mm. Yeah. So we'll stick by the beach. But I'll have her go up here because I usually don't uh -huh. have nearly the issue Enemy with heat detected. with this. Same with this mech. I don't have nearly Location the confirmed. heat problem. Yep, and it's a vehicle. I had a feeling. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. That works. Six evasion pips and cover. We'll take that. See what they do. 
Let's reserve. Aye, aye. Holding. See what they do first. I prefer for them to leave cover if I can get them to do it. So... This is not great, but one thing I could do, I think this is what I'm going to do here. All right, we're going to start making our way up here because I'm going to go into the, I'm going to make, start making my way for this pilot and the blackjack to get into this cover terrain. We're going to move up here now that I see where they are, and how the kind of terrain is kind of shaping up. Now I can sensor lock and we could tar, oh fuck, a fucking mech. Uh, all right, so... Do I sensor lock the mech or do I sensor lock the vehicles? Shit. <sighs> yeah, we're going to sensor lock the mech. The mech is going to be more dangerous. On target. And we got a vehicle over here. Lovely. Fucking fire starters. I hate fire starters. They're a light mech, but they're a goddamn menace. Receiving you. I think I'm only going to have the LRMs be able to fire at. Yeah. Well, that really sucks. All right, fine. Wow. And I even have a shitty chance to hit with the LRMs. You know what? Let's just jump and we'll brace. It'll be fine. I'm not wasting LRMs on that shot. Good to go. Just reposition. This will be okay. Or. So I should be able to jump to that hopes of trees next don't think they're gonna take a shot at me this turn i'll take a risk with that but either way cover commander this really matters but all right well at least i got a shot Confirm. firing at it from over here so i'll take a pot shot and see if i can annoy it new sensor trace oh. looks like enemy reinforcements ah uh, fuck and there are the reinforcements already so yeah the reinforcements are over here so i gotta get him out of there the last thing I need is to be completely flanked already. So yeah, it's probably eight against four already. Super awesome. I normally like to try to uh, get to a point where um, when reinforcements show up, I've at least taken out one or two of the initial lance first. It's nice. Ah, fuck, they marked me with tag. That sucks. Yes, Commander. I could fucking death from above this little bastard, uh, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, let's just get over here. Uh, we're just going to we're going to get away from that. Cause I, the last thing I want is for that spider to be anywhere near all that shit. sucks eat his problem but you know what fire it's all weapons fire and of course you miss one if i don't kill this tag next turn i'll have uh, medusa just stomp on it that's sort of the plan thinking ahead but at least they're wasting fire at the thing that's hard to hit while the rest of my units get in closer here so yeah, this is how this battlefield is shaping up. Oh my god. Fire starter. That fire starter could be a real problem though. So fire starters have flamers. You nothing, you hear me? And they can just give you heat damage. It's terrible. It's fucking terrible and awful on every conceivable way. Yes, Commander. Um so let's jump. Yeah, let's try. Wow, that's awful. Wow, that fire start is a shit ton of uh, evasion. That's awful. Waiting for that was, that was glitching. Maybe, maybe I could do a little better here. 
That's terrible. Okay. Well, fine. Let's jump over here. Let's Ready? at least try to take out that Ready? other vehicle. Really, guys? You're... I am... Yeah, my pilots just suck. These are terrible percentages. Well, this is not shaping up the way I would like, but at least... At least we're only going to fight the primary lance for a round or two while the reinforcement lance gets to us. And the reinforcement lance has this in the way. So they can only fire indirect fire at us. I don't I don't think they'll be able to do a whole lot of damage while we deal with this. But yeah, I got to... I gotta try to chew out this, uh, chew down this galleon if I can. Um, good grief. You know what? Yeah, let's, let's do that so at least I can do some damage to it. That. Firing on target. Maybe if I hit it in the right spot. Good, okay. That was worth it. Just to take one out, it was worth That's using the, the precise shot. So. Waiting for orders. I think I might actually just stay here. God. That is awful, man. Um, well, I got a pretty good shot at hitting that. Maybe I should just take that out. Yeah, okay. Let's toggle that off. Let's try, try to take out this vehicle. On it. Ah! Must have hit the wrong side of it. Oh, well. I thought I could hit that. Oh, well, I can't get that. <sighs> Shitty movement. All right, I'm just going to have to go in cover here for a second. And I got that fire starter to worry about, so I definitely don't want to be generating too much heat. Just toggle off a large laser. Yep. That'll be fine. Hopefully I'll take out the tank here. All right. Okay, well, we got half the enemy patrol already. Enemy so not too bad. Destroyed. That's an interesting choice. The vehicle moved back. Ah, uh, got LRMs. That's okay. Light damage, Commander. I'll take that. Yeah. So might actually do that. I might actually just do physical damage to the fire starter here. Let's do that. So I could do some, uh, I'll have an easier time with the melee oh. attack. Perfect. We get blow through its armor. Or maybe I'll do some stability damage to, well, I didn't do enough stability damage. It was still the right call. Because with that amount of evasion, I wasn't hitting it anyway. <laughs> Actually, I think I could turn up the sound effects a little bit. Yeah, but that's what I was talking about with the heat. Damage heat is fucking terrible. I hate it. Uh, all right, so you, because that will get me into cover, and I can still shoot at it with two lasers. Engaging physical attack. Got on the way. Hit. There we go. All right, doing some damage here. Enemy mech. Critical now we've got it unsteady. Attack. Perfect. I hear ya. Who's got? Commander. Yeah. Yeah, the RM5 is just terrible on this mech. Um, oh, I'm not going to do enough damage to knock you down. Yeah, let's at least guarantee a hit. Locking on target. Wow, really? I even did a precision shot. Unfortunately, even when you make strategically right decisions, it doesn't do always you? pan out for you. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I'm within the inside range of that fucking thing. <sighs> yeah, it's what we got to do. 
You betcha. I hate leaving cover, but so be it. I'm in the way. That's the problem. So that's what's interfering with the uh, shot there. That's all right. Tell me what to do. There we go. Nice shot glitch. Yeah, critical hit. Made up for Behemoth missing. Up. Oh, we got an arc beacon on there. Shit. So tag makes it easier for things to hit you and narc actually increases the damage if I remember correctly. Uh, narc attack, yep. Unit will take 75 more damage from missile attacks. So, joy. What do you need? That's all right. This little bastard's about to die. Heading out. Locked on for physical attack. Wow, that didn't destroy it? Yeah. I'm kind of surprised that that didn't destroy it. That's not going to be it. Okay, good. Yeah. Shoot it to Blackjack. Definitely. I much prefer you shooting at that than the spider. Yeah, please. Please do. <laughs> uh, all right. So. Yes. Alpha Strike for sure. Wow, I missed with a lot there. That sucked. Enemy that was a terrible damage. alpha strike. Standing by. Uh, yeah, I think we're just gonna shoot you more. Although, what if I move back? Yep, we're gonna move now. Well, then the medium laser. Yeah, I'd rather just shoot from here. With the medium. Yeah, I'd rather just shoot from here. It's fine. There we go. I mean, at least we're really Waiting messing up Commander. the, uh, we're really messing up this mech now. Come on, Glitch. There we go. There we are. And stay down. Nice shot, Glitch. Yeah, that's the problem is, is now they're, the, the missiles are doing more damage. But that narc beacon will be gone in a minute. Good to go. Uh, all right. So the problem is if I if I go here, I'm in cover. But uh, you know what? Let's wait. So at least then you only attack with those. Oh, I think the narc beacon is gone. Is <laughs> that all you got? Yeah, the narc beacon must be gone. Sweet. Fuck, Panther. That PPC is going to be a problem. Now that you've gone, let's let them go one more turn. And then I'll go. Actually, I thought the, narc, the striker narc already went. I shouldn't have reserved. Ah, and a reattached narc. Damage. That's all right. Animal. Not a big deal. Ready for orders. But now I can attack you, and I'm not exposing my back to the reinforcements. Wow, I still didn't kill it. I can't believe how much. How did I not kill that thing? Seriously, how did I not kill this thing? That's amazing. How close did I cut? Wow, really? It's oh, it's better armored than I thought it was. That's why. Oh, and it's got a narc beak. And it's got a, a good narc beacon in it too. Of course it does. Now well, that's all right. Yeah, let's just shoot this little bastard. All Perfect. Enemy unit destroyed. What can I do for you? Now. You return fire with the AC-5, or jump. Now, well. all right, Time fuck it. Fly. Let's just jump over here. 
Now let's precision strike it. Improve our odds of hitting it and returning fire. Perfect. Good to go. I think. And I don't want to shoot. Roger that. Here. Let's hit it with our my own PPC and make it less likely that uh Yeah, we're not even gonna fire with it. Eh, 40% fuck it. Let's see what happens. Alright, well I'm glad I did. Solid connection on that one. Well, we got ourselves a real battle here. Ooh, and it's unsteady. Is that it? I'm barely scratched. Orders. Can't quite get up to that. I have that much evasion, you'll shoot at it, and you'll probably miss. What I'm kind of going for here. But you know what? That's a battle mech over there. I think that's a fire starter, if I remember correctly. Now let's focus fire on this panther. I think that's the right play. Let's do this. Roger. Focus fire on the panther. It looks like the reinforcements are only two. So that helps. I'm not precision shotting with two. Giving them everything I've got. And I'm glad I didn't, because I hit anyway. <laughs> Perfect. Exactly what I wanted you to do. Let's see. Who's closest? Ready for orders. Well, that all really sucks. Yeah, we'll just close. We'll close distance. On my way. And I just won't fire their LRMs. There's no sense generating the heat from firing the LRMs at that range. Engaging target. There we go. Nice shot, Behemoth. Hostile removed. Problem is, let's reserve and see if this guy will Holding come. Action, Commander. I think he already moved, didn't he? Yeah, he did. All right. Well, you know what? Okay, fine. We'll move. We'll stay in the woods, and I'll brace. And I'll just cool off. Because when I'm braced, I'll take a. Uh, I'll take significantly less damage. Waiting on you, From Commander. that position. I'd rather jump up here. Got it. Go high ground. Position up here. This is the part where this guy, whoever this pilot is, really should just either eject. All right, Nikki. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night. Ah, Jenner. Yeah, those Jenners can pack a punch, man. But I'm glad I braced like that. I took a lot less damage from that hit because of that. Receiving you. Oh, never mind. It's a locust. Never mind. This this point, this is <laughs> we're in good shape now. <laughs> badass. That is badass, buddy. That What's is up, very boss? badass. <laughs> All right, now we can hit with, LRM, with an LRM-5. I'm not going to be able to make it over there to hit with the PPC anyway. Target so yeah, do some damage. Wipe out that other evasion pip. I hear ya. You, I think I can get... I don't know. Nope. Can't. Can't get 
get to you. All right, so we'll jump. Uh -huh. Make our way over this way. Yeah, this this locust is fucked. This locust is totally fucked. But yeah, in games where um, it's not turn-based, like games like Mech Warrior Online or Mech Warrior Five, locusts are so annoying because they're such speedy little bastards. At this point, it's it's pretty much over. It's over. This this guy's toast. Say goodnight. <laughs> Exploding never gets old. <laughs> well, I hope that distraction was sufficient for our friends' purposes. Mission successful. Ah. Uh. And we didn't we didn't take any internal damage. We only took armor damage. And one of the nice parts is armor you repair for free in this game. So as long as you you don't ever get ever get any armor play, uh, blow throughs, you could just keep doing missions uh, like this. And I just gained a thousand XP, so we can level up some things too. Let's see. Um, well, let's take the PPC. That's good. That's a really good component. Um, shit. Whatever. Yeah, we'll take Panther Salvage. And we got a bunch of small lasers now. And we got a spare LRM-10, so that's nice. Yeah, it's just, it's a nice, chill, like, just I think a nice, chill game. Um, and even this, my arms are a little, like, my arms and wrists are, are like a little sore. So yeah, it's it's just as well I could do this so I could, you know, mostly rest my arms. Okay, so now at this point, we could go to Weldry and pick up our next uh, campaign mission. We're not going to do that. We're going to we're gonna work out our uh, company a little bit. Um, so the Weldry mission isn't too bad. Um, some of the missions after that, there's a difficulty spike. But the Weldry mission, we could do the Weldry mission with just the Centurion we picked up. Um, that way we have at least four decent mechs so that one of them isn't a thin as shit spider. However, if we could pick up a better mech in between this time and going to Weldry, that's something I'm going to try to do. I don't know if we're going to succeed at that. I think I'm, I definitely want the Centurion up and running, but it would be nice if we could upgrade something uh, else. So let's do that other mission and then we'll hit the store. Actually, you know what? Let's just hit the store now. Let's see if there's an AC-10 in the store. It would be nice if there's an AC-10 in the store. This Banshee sucks. It's got next to no firepower and it's 95 tons. For 95 tons, the amount of expense you're getting for a 95 ton mech, that goddamn thing needs to have a shit ton of firepower. Now, there are some builds you can make with this that make it work because its melee is really good. So what you could do is make it run up and you turn it into a punch bot with uh, melee arm, uh, with um, arm actuators. But we're not, we're not. Of course, there's no AC-10. God damn it. Although there is some, there is some nice, uh, I don't have any machine guns. So you know what? Let's buy two machine guns. New weapon systems available. We'll buy two machine guns. I don't think I've got machine gun ammo. So we need to buy machine gun ammo. Buy one of that, and we'll New buy one of that. Available. So now if I want to put machine guns on something, I can. Uh, I have two AC-10 ammos. I just don't have an actual AC-10. Let's see, what are you? Yeah, plus 25 crit, not great. Yeah, the, the plus one damage LRM-5 is not bad, but I don't think an LRM-5 is really worth it. And the mechs here are suck so all right nothing worth buying here so let's spend some xp waiting for orders yeah let's improve Training your gunnery Standing I like by. being able to hit to go. okay you let's take the bulwark Mech warrior training that's complete. definitely the way yep. to go and Let's take plus one on steady threshold so I'm not as unsteady as easily. Confirmed, Commander. And 
we're gonna work our way up. So at this point, it's mostly working our way into improving our our pilots. At least at this stage of the game, that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, but we'll make some decent decent scratch on this. The salvage is gonna suck, but uh, we'll make some decent money here. And uh, let's settle the grudge. Right. Uh, within the last three months, the local pirate organization has struck our facilities, personnel, and supply convoys over half a dozen times. My superiors in the Confederation leadership would like to even the score. We'd like to hire you to find a pirate lance and destroy it to demonstrate that we are not without military resources here on Herodotus. And we're going to be in the Badlands. So unfortunately, heat is going to be a problem over here. But I think the odds of us only encountering one lance here are at least pretty decent. We shouldn't have to worry about reinforcements here. So at least we got that going for us. Yeah, I'm feeling okay. We're going to do one more mission. We'll probably stream till like 11 o'clock and then I'll then I'll call it. We'll do a little... We're going to go a little late night tonight, but nothing nothing too crazy. Hmm. Yeah, if we want to show military strength here in Herodos, we could do that for them. <laughs> Command interface initiated. We've arrived at our location, our employer specified commander. Move forward, fire a target, Lance. Light him up. Ah, oh, fuck. Keep an eye out for reinforcements. I get the impression these folks are a bit twitchy. Yeah, this so we're gonna have... So we're gonna right? have reinforcements. Shit. Damn it. So let's take a... Let's take a look at this map and see what the hell's going on. Alright, so we got... Right in the middle of a canyon, huh? Right, so map. Map, bo map boundaries over here. All right. So you know what? I'm going to come over here because if there are reinforcements, they're probably going to come from over here. So we're going to make a beeline to this high ground and cover and try to turn this into a shooting gallery. That's the idea. Let's see if Seraph's plan comes to fruition. Affirmative. We're going to try this. Fingers crossed. And then once we get more and more components and better components, we can start building better mechs. But yeah, this part of the game isn't really all that hard. Um, it's China, it generally treats you with kid gloves at this point. Uh, kind of getting you used to mechanics. I mean, if you make mistakes, the AI will absolutely punish you for it. Um, but for the most part, it's, it's not too bad. The enemies just aren't strong enough to really wreck your shit at this point. Once the difficulty spike kicks in, though, oh boy. Every time we uh, complete a campaign mission, the overall difficulty of all the missions available and the difficulty of the planets also goes up, though. So that's not something the game really tells you, unfortunately. Which is... That's Roger something that. that was definitely Standing an adjustment up. when I was first playing this game. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> Why can't I go back and do easier missions? I, I I went too far. I ended up starting over because I had completed too many campaign missions, but then got myself into a financial hole and I couldn't just do milk runs to, to make some money. All the missions were just too hard to do. So at that point, it was over. Commandos are a light mech, but they, they can punch pretty hard. Um, this one's not too bad, but some commando variants are like what I call mech shotguns. They just have, they can just do so much damage to you. Uh, you know what? Let's reserve one more time. Do this now. Yeah, they're just going to do that. All right, yep. so let's, uh, let's come up here. Since I only have, you know what? Let's jump. Yeah, there we go. Because at least then I've got evasion. And I'm just going to shoot once to knock off an evasion pip. Putting one of them back. It's a shame because it's in the back. Would have been nice, but oh well. Such a low Locked chance to hit one. there. Really, really wasn't anything I could do. There. Ready for orders. What can I do for you? Right, let's, uh... Yeah, that that this this pretty much sucks. So let's jump. Let's see how far I can. 
Yeah, we'll just jump here. It's fine. Take I'll shoot at you with the medium mode. laser. I'll miss, but again, at least maybe I can get shot in. Or at the very least, we'll line up our shots for somebody else. Orders. You, on the other hand, now we're now we're talking. Now we're talking. And if since I'm over here. Fire starter shouldn't really be able to hit me with anything. We'll do that. I don't like being in the open, but location confirmed. But that vindicator does have jump jets, and I can jump back into cover later. But I need a better shot. If I'm up here, I won't have a very good shot. Wow, actually, yeah. Let's just fuck it. Let's do it. Engaging with target. There we go. Yeah, commandos have, can do some damage, but they don't take hit hits very good. well. Now we're talking. Okay. That's what I was hoping for. I'm not going to bother with these medium lasers, but we will shoot with those large lasers. All right, we hit with both. Nice. Well, there are our reinforcements, I think. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. <laughs> Looks like enemy reinforcement. <laughs> so that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, thanks, Darius. I noticed. He loves to mention that reinforcements have shown up after they shoot at us. Uh, they, they love doing that fucking shit. God damn. Um, actually. Yeah, at this point, we got a good chance to hit. Let's let's shoot in the back, even though it's a little silly to be using a precision shot on this mech, but uh, the armor in the back is so much less. Ah, uh, he missed with one. That really sucks. That was a waste of a precision shot then. I was hoping he would at least hit with both. Yeah, that's the part that sucks when you got reinforcements and they all have long ranged weapons. You can't shoot back. It's very frustrating. That's a lot. Barely hit, Commander. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna need to get you moved out, out of there soon. They're shooting at her because she's out in the open and not, has no evasion. I need I need to get her the hell out of there. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. I know, I'm trying trying to let you go. <laughs> but of course, you know, the enemy is all gonna go at once. The initiative rarely seems to go in my favor. It's kind of why I actually tried for my try. main mech warrior to go with the uh, tactician this time so that uh, hopefully I'd have some more advantageous uh, supply here. Yeah, we'll go with that. Let's shoot at the commando. Acknowledged. Need to move you so that you're hopefully less prone to getting shot at. Acknowledged. There we go. Destroy the left torso. Come on, come on. All right. Reporting critical hit. Now that commando is going to get to go. That was different. Hey, you want to do go. that, buddy? Uh, be my guest. <sighs> what am I doing now, though? Not sure how I want to do this. It does have a large laser. It can still hurt me, so that's a problem. Uh huh. But I think this is how I'm going to do this. Multi-target. And fire. So you at least we can avoid some of that uh, evasion. We'll set up the shot for somebody else. There we go. You're gonna fall. You just lost all your evasion now. You're toast. I've got you now. 
The question is, who do I kind of finish you off? Oh, no, that's the answer then. That's the answer now, isn't it? Uh, actually, I'm probably better off just staying where I'm at. Yeah, I try to finish off with Mando here. Jesus, can you hit? I missed with half my weapons there. Pete's sake. But yeah, that was why it was so important for us to come over and cover here. Because we're gonna we're just gonna take a beating until we get these guys taken care of. Um just kind of sucks. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. Yeah, let's try to take it out with the spider. Why not? Taking us too long to take out the commando here. Thank you. There we go. Okay. So, at least the primary lance is only three. It's not four. Thank God. Maybe the reinforcements are only three, too. That'd be nice. Now we're going to focus fire on the fire uh, on the fire starter and try and take it out. I can't take much more of this. I know. I know, Behemoth. I know. The second you can go, I'm going to have you jump. And if, you, if we have any morale we can use, I'll have you use vigilance. Good, yeah. Shoot that. Please. Thank you. Good. Damn it. Damage minimum warning. Heat exceeding recommended level. Ready for orders. I fucking hate fire starters so much. Yeah, we have to, because we're, we're... I'm going to overheat if it hits her. Now, of course I miss. God damn it. Fire starters are the fucking worst. They're the most annoying mech ever. Oh, yeah, that wasn't great. But you know what? I've got decent armor. I can be exposed. There we go. On ammo explosion. There we go. It's not an ammo explosion, but it's damage. I'll take it. Critical damage detected. I hear ya. Let's see. Actually think better off going this route and shooting at the fire starter from this direction. And then what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna try to have to her have her go out straight. And, uh, I'm going to save this precision strike. Uh -huh. Buddy, there we are. Yeah. Firestarter is taking a lot of damage now. <laughs> yeah, it's noping the hell out of there real quick, isn't it? Little bastard. But yeah, it's also why I went with melee and I didn't want to attack. Because I definitely didn't want that flamer to have another chance at um, getting me above again. Standing by. Let's go over here. And hmm. Location confirmed. Here. I mean, we're gonna take more missile damage in a second, but what can you do? All weapons. Fire. I am gonna make it easier for something else to hit it. And I hit it twice. I didn't think I would hit it twice. That was nice. Fucking missiles. I cannot wait to kill whatever that is launching missiles at me. That always sucks. And especially later on, the reinforcements usually have a fucking catapult. Uh, and they just launch LRM after fucking LRM at you forever. So annoying when the reinforcements have a, a good long range loadout. Like this, kind of like this. 
That's all right. Their time will come. Warning. Armor low. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, that was the risk I took. Warning. Armor breached. Internal damage. Now what I get... Oh, wow. That left arm is almost gone. Okay, so... What we're going to do here is I'm specifically going to pivot so that uh, this arm that's damaged is then pointed away so it's harder for things to hit it. Um, let's go over here. That should make that harder to hit. Um, let's see. Do I go off the fire starter? Or that. Yeah, I'm going to take damage with that. So let's just shoot at you twice. See what happens. I missed with you twice. That's what happened. No damage detected. Waiting for orders. serious right now how fucking far away do i need to be all right fine uh, same thing you're left we're just gonna do that i'm just gonna shoot at the fire starter again at least with you you're not gonna cost as much got it oh my god why are they missing so much Waiting on you, and I Commander. blew a fucking precise shot on that. Jesus. Don't need to tell me twice. Blow another precise shot. I mean, this fire starter can only be so lucky. There we go. Finally. My God. Gotcha. Problem is we still have that spider. And that spider is going to also be difficult to kill. Yeah, this is damage management where now it's doing damage, but to the plate, uh, the side of where the armor is still pretty yeah. decent. Uh, I could just go in there and freaking wail on this thing. You know what? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's try and let's try and hit it. Engaging. Yeah, of course you miss. It's amazing how often I miss when I have an 85% chance That's to hit. There we go. Yeah, shoot at the spider. You shouldn't hit that for anything in that mineral field and with those evasion. So that was kind of what I was hoping for. I was hoping the spider would draw its fire and not get hit. We got, we've got to kill the spider because the spider is what's spotting everybody. The, spy, the, the reason why they can shoot at me and I can't shoot at them is the spider's spotting for them. So this, this little bastard has to... We have to take this guy out. Acknowledged. At least the high spirits is helping us out. Yeah, it really doesn't matter where I hit you. The spider's Target armor concerned. sucks. Any kind of damage we do to it should be good. Waiting for orders. Have the shadow hawk go. Because hopefully. None of those are great, are they? I leap. I soar. We'll go with that and then I'll Friends jump down. All right. Did some damage to it at least. All right. We got it unsteady.
Yeah, let's go with that. Although with my heat situation, I don't know what I can do. Oh, all right. Yeah, let's just shoot at it with the large lasers and hope one of them hits. All right, that's that's fine. I will take that. They're coming closer. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have some repairs after this, but not a big deal. Ready for orders. Yeah. Come on, buddy. There you go. Do some damage, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. Unfortunately, now I don't have any evasion. Hopefully, I can withstand their counterattack and then jump out. Holding. That mineral field is adding essentially four evasion pips on its own. Oh. Should make it harder to hit it. They managed to hit a lot there. That sucked. I'm showing minor damage. It's all right. Yeah, let's not play games. There we go. Ah, perfect. Both legs destroyed. Nice. Enemy mech destroyed. Okay. Problem is we got these assholes. Holding for tactical advantage. I hear ya. So what I think I'm gonna do? Let's go up here and we'll reposition. Ready? I want the Shadowhawk to be target. Brace. Receiving you. Jump. And uh, we're still light on the left arm, so we'll do something along these lines. Up perfect. high. Perfect. Perfect. Nice and nice and careful here. Interesting. What are you doing? You're jumping. That's very curious. Hmm. Oh, they're they're trying the same thing I am. Well, just one problem with that. How far away am I to sensor? Oh, okay, I gotta go. I probably have to go into this into the mineral field to do it. Probably gonna have to do go into the mineral field. Too. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to go after them, aren't I? They're not gonna come after me. You know what? Let's try going into the mineral field. Go there. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna guard here. But if I can sensor lock them. Then I can shoot at them with the PPC and some other long-ranged weapons, uh, like the AC-5. Uh, and I can shoot at them without them being able to shoot at me. That's kind of what I'm going to hope to pull off here. I'm going to keep glitch Standing there. By. But I will have you jump up this way. Actually, maybe I could have... You know what? That's what I should do. I should have you go up... I should have me go up this way to sense the lock him from over there. That's what I'll do. All right, I'll have you sprint next time. This will be okay. Good to go. Problem is if I completely back out. You know what I could do is I could just jump and let them do it. Man, I could just do that. Uh, I just don't like that idea. But you know what? That's what I'll do. holding here. Plus, I'm still overheating anyway. So let's just cool down. It's inspiration. Oh, they are fully retreating. Interesting. Okay. Commander. Fine. So. Uh... See what happens. Let's just jump here. I don't think you can hit me with that amount of evasion. 
locust, javelin. Yeah, the two javelins were what you were shooting at me. Little bastards. I definitely don't want to do that. I'm going to brace. I'm just going to use it to recon. Yeah, it's the problem. It's, they're still going to hit me a little. And Spider's armor really is terrible. Ooh, but I lured the locust out, I think. Perfect. Oh, why, thank you, RNR, for the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome to the community. Feel free to lurk or chat to your heart's content. Waiting for orders. So. Perfect. Yep. We are going to shoot that little bastard with the AC5. Even though it's only one weapon. Uh... Yeah, because I'll I'll still be able to do that with Behemoth in the next in the next shot. So yeah, let's just take a shot at the, the locust here. Here we go. Perfect. Nice. Yeah. And we're gonna do the same thing with you. Uh, perfect. Decision strike. The locust. Oh really? Oh. Oh shit, I already moved. Damn it. I didn't realize I wasn't in range with the PPC. Oh, it sucks so bad. <laughs> Fine. I'll at least be within here. You definitely can't shoot at me from there. Yeah. Uh, actually, yeah. Fuck it. We'll precision strike it. Why not? All right. So at least I hit once where, and I have no right. To, ah, perfect. And we took it out. Excellent. So that that worked out. Destroyed. Gotta love that paper. Th yeah, right. Gotta love the paper thin bug armor. Oh, my God. The spider is the thinnest armor ever. If it weren't for all the evasion, this mech would be totally useless. Hopefully by this Damage. end, hopefully by this round of, uh, of missions, we, uh, we won't need it anymore. Let's see, jump. Let's, uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, that will do. That will do. Lifting off. Perfect. Uh, could put two in the back. My concern, yeah, I'm gonna overheat like a like a mother, and then I won't have any avenue of escape. We're just gonna brace with the spider here. Same thing. Little bastard. That shot got past my armor. That's the only problem. Even with a no matter how much evasion you have, melee kind of av avoids that. Although when I have an 85% chance to hit, I somehow miss. Not that I'm bitter. <laughs> I'm not bitter. Uh, so let's same thing. We're going to manage our. Firing jump jet. That hopefully be able to shoot it with a PPC and we'll take our shots here. Oh my God. That's awful. Jeez, you gotta be kidding me. Precision strike problem. Well, precision strike at least makes it worth our while. Yeah, why not? Fuck it. I'll miss anyway, but... At least we'll give it something to think about. Good to go! Pretty much the same, so I may as well just march. Yeah, we'll shoot it with the AC-5. We'll miss, but we'll shoot at it anyway. We got plenty of ammo. Right? Yeah, the Javelin is double the firepower, more armor. Yeah, I totally agree. The Spider is such a terrible design. Same thing with the Cicada. 
How does the cicada suck so much? <laughs> the cicada is terrible. That is a terrible Tell mech. Tell me what to shoot. There we go. Glitch managed to hit. I mean, you eventually shoot enough and good things happen. But, uh, but yeah, a lot of this, a lot of this stinks. Especially being outnumbered that early, um, so quickly, not like both early in the, in the game. We basically just started. This is only our second stream of this game. So we're still very early. We just got reunited with, uh, Lady Arano. Um, and she gave us a mission to go to Weldry. We haven't gone to Weldry yet, but, uh, so not only early figuratively in the campaign, but pretty much it was six on four right at the onset. Um, so when your pilots aren't necessarily all that great and your mechs aren't necessarily all that great, you get a recipe for, you know, firefights like this. There we go. All right. One out of two. That's not bad. Yeah, I'm glad that Mech Warrior 5 starts you off in a javelin and not a and not a spider. Ugh, all right, buddy. How are you doing? You're over there. Um, hello cat. I also have a cat. She likes to distract me. She's she's at my feet right now looking for a pet, so I'm not moving because my one arm is is petting cat cat. Hello, hello, sweetie. I love you, cat. I know I love you too. What's up, Cleo? Oh, I know I love you too. Yes, I do. All right. Here, why don't you come up on the table and say hi to everybody? No? You're going to hang out by my by my ankles and, and bite me like a little asshole? Standing yeah, that's what, that's what you're going to do? Um, uh, oh, geez, and it hit me in the back too. Well, let's see. Let's, uh, yeah, my heat situation's not great. So let's let's take a melee let's take a melee location back on here. Putting my weight oh, into it. Meant to do in the back. Whoops. Hit the wrong button. That's alright. Still did damage to it. That works. Take that. Commander. Yep. Glitch. I think of all the NPCs that they give you to start off with, glitch is my favorite. <laughs> yep, yep. I'm I'm the genius that bought that has a cat that's also allergic to her. Because I'm uh yeah, I'm not wasting the ammo on the SRM sets. Well, yeah, why not? We've got the ammo. Heat's not an issue. Let's YOLO this. Uh -huh. Not like I've got breaching shot anyway yet. Waiting for orders. Thanks. Oh, there. Let's go that way then. Definitely don't want to expose I'll my move. my weak side here to these little bastards. Okay, well, that's a no-brainer. Yeah, what's affirmative? The my pilots are so bad. He miss so much. <laughs> um, I think I will take the two penalty just so that they have a harder time hitting me. I definitely can't take any damage to that left arm. Jeez, man. Yeah, that's that's I mean, I made I made that that conscious decision. All right, so I still managed to hit with one that works for me. Should be doing better now that we're closing in. Yep, that's fine. Shoot at that side. Damage minimal. Five, five, five more. Yeah, right. Huh. Commander. Only five. <laughs> holy, holy cow! Oh, that, that would be terrible. Uh, yeah, let's just avoid cover. Coordinates received. There we go. You're doing your job. That hit something good. Wow, I forgot they had LRM-15s. I thought they had LRM-10s, not 15s. Ridiculous. But yeah, you you still have your armor. So yeah, shoot at you. That's exactly what I want. Perfect. Waiting on 
you, Commander. Yep. Come on in here. Ah, there we go. Hello, cat. Coordinates received. Hello. Hi, kitty kitty. Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Hi. Let's switch to switch real quick. I'm just gonna switch really quick. I don't think anybody's ever seen you. Hello, kitty kitty. Hello. Who's my good girl? Are you my good girl? Yes, you're a good girl. So here's my enormous fucking cat. 20 pounds of adorable murder. <laughs> oh, that's a big tough to purse. No, don't go in, don't go in surf space. Yes, cat. Hello, cat. Okay, now we'll go back to game. <laughs> Hello, honey. I know, I love you. Are you a good girl? Let's, uh, let's do that. Let's fuck you up. There we go. Hi. Good girl. I know, always a good kitty. Another hit like that and you're toast. Yes, Commander. Now we're gonna focus Move fire on the feet. really damaged mech. First I was just kind of attacking whichever one was more of an opportunity, but this one's definitely the one to pick on here. Locking on. There we go. Now we're talking. Still don't like that I can't attack with more than that, but if I'm up there anyway, it's not going to matter because I can't really hit it, so. Hello, God. Right? She's such an awesome cat. <laughs> She's my girl. She kills everything. That was some nice damage. Come on. There we go. That's the end of that javelin. Uh, she kills spiders, snakes, lizards. If it comes in the house, she murders it. Oh, don't, don't, don't you dare damn it. Don't you dare blow up that left arm. Warning. Armor breach. <laughs> Internal damage. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm just going to do this. Cause my, well, actually, you know what? Let's, uh, move. Let's just move here and shoot you in the back. Moving out. Kind of avoiding me, so I'll shoot you over here. Firing all weapons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You see, you also have cats that kill everything. Yeah, they're they're awesome. <laughs> Good to go. There's she's such a character. Go. All right. Got it. At this point, now this mission is over. The only question is, can this javelin do any component damage to me or hurt me in any way that's going to really affect me in the mech bay? That's that's really the only question. Order. This this battle is now assured. Position confirmed. Especially as it's just four on one, and we're just we're just gonna beat on it now. Why, why take chances? Target acquired. And at this level, it really doesn't make sense not uh, to target a very specific location. Um, I mean, it's nice to do when you can do it, but uh, I don't want to get any closer to that. I don't want to give it any chance. Wow, how did he even hit that torso? Bastard. Perfect. More critical hit damage. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Kitty cat. Waiting for orders. Um, I mean, if I go up and melee it, I will do some stability damage, but I still don't think I'm going to knock it down. So let's just shoot it some more. There we go. Nice shot, Medusa. Target neutral. All right, we finally got it. Yeah, I would say I would send an appropriate message. <laughs> oh, that was nicely done. All right. So we managed to get through that. Not not exactly part of the plan. It would have been nice to have gotten out of it without any structural damage, but we got out of it without any component damage, and that's the important part. 
This component damage is what really, really sucks. Man, we're still nowhere near even putting together any, uh, putting together any mechs. And of course, the one, you know, we got to LRM-15 out of it. I probably should take the LRM-15, but pretty much at this stage, I always just try to take the most expensive, which at this point is a fire starter. Plus, they're going to be common. We'll be able to put together fire starters. We'll take the fire starter and let's see what it gives us. Yeah, a bunch of junk otherwise. Hello, cat. I know I love you too, cat. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I love you too. Okay. Okay. She's biting my hand. <laughs> what? Is it time for bed, cat? Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> I wasn't really all that tired, cat. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're definitely gonna have to do some repairs here, uh, but that's fine. Um, yeah, 20,000 Seabills and it'll take six days. It is what it is, man. For repair, that's 9,000 in three days. But again, really not, really not too bad, all things together. Um, considering what we were facing at that and the quality of our of my pilots right now, um, that's, that's really not too bad. We, we managed to get through that pretty good. Uh, at this point, yeah, we're going to take bulwark. So we take less damage for sure. Because as you noticed, when we're outnumbered a lot, taking less damage is good. We, we like taking less damage. Um, question is, what do I want him to be? Uh, do I want him to be another tactician type or do I want him to be gunnery? I do like to have good variants with my pilots. Um, let me come back. Let me come back for that. Uh, Cause yeah, let's take the 45 minimum uh, minimum range. Now she'll be more useful with that AC five. Um, same with you. We'll just build up yours, and I'll, I'll wait on that later. Um, probably switch out Decker for Medusa the next time because we want to level up Decker a little bit too. Yes, uh, all right, what am I doing with Medusa here? I got to decide. Sure footing. Um, really, what the d decision is, what do I want to have the choice of later? Because if I choose this, then later on, I'm going to have the decision of the coolant vent or uh, ace pilot. And if I went with that, probably would take ace pilot. I'm not really a big fan of coolant vent because, um, yeah, it allows you to alpha strike really well. But then you gain an extra heat um, for the next three rounds. So it's... At least in my opinion, that's not the best trade-off. Breaching shot really is helpful later on in the game. Um, and of course, Master Tactician might be kind of nice later on too. So I'm kind of thinking between them, either Breaching Shot or Master Tactician is the way to go. Let's go with a backup tactician here. We're gonna we're gonna have Medusa be my backup tactician. Um, and then everybody else will either be gunnery, probably gunnery at this point, uh, or, or whatever. All right, so we got our mechs repaired, right? Yep, perfect. We didn't take too much damage. So now the question is, um, I'm not going to do Weldry this stream. Um, oh yeah, we did make it to three hours. Yeah, this this is a this is a good spot to stop. Because I've got work in the morning and I'm still I'm still getting my strength back up. Um, but I'm kind of thinking that we'll do. Here be here will be the plan. I'm thinking we'll go to Kimi next time because Kimi is a fantastic star system for components, mechs, and whatnot. There's almost always archers to be bought there. Um even er, even early in the game like this. So that makes it a good spot to go to uh to pick up one of those. Um, but just the same, they are, they're also usually good missions to do. Um, and that'll be a good starter for next stream. Cause we could go there, we could do a couple of missions. And then once we, once we get uh, a handle on things, we'll head over to Welltree and we will do the Icebox mission. So, uh, so that'll be fun. Obviously I've played this game before. This is not my first playthrough. The only reason I have no spoilers on there is for anybody that watches this either live or on YouTube. Um, hasn't seen it um uh so that they don't get spoiled in chat but if you ever if anybody ever has uh you know seen this whole thing or has a spoiler type question or whatever for me you're not gonna spoil anything for me hit me up on discord and, and we could chat about it um uh, as far as like 
you know, if anything comes to mind. Uh, I don't think that's the case, but but that's that's always like a good policy for this. But anyway, I really enjoy this game. So let's save it. Either way, I think we're 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 good for today. We're going to save. And we'll quit the desktop. Yeah, let's save and quit anyway, just because, you know, why why take chances? Um and let's see if anybody's on that we could raid out to. Um oh, cat cat nut kind of knows. She's she's had enough. Uh let's check Twitch and see who's on. Um looks like middle age stream is on. They're streaming Final Fantasy. So uh we could raid them or we could just call it a night. Actually, I'm probably not. I, I probably am going to. I'm probably a little sleepy at this point. I think we're just going to call this here. So let's uh, let's let's end this. And um, I think I am going to probably stream a little more this weekend. Um, so I'm actually really tempted to give Cyberpunk another try. Um, and I may try to do that Saturday morning. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not. Um, but that's kind of the idea, and we will see if, um, if my plan comes to fruition there or not. Um, but, uh, either way, I, I really think I'm going to be streaming Sunday night, because that ends up being a good capstone to the weekend. And, uh, tomorrow, since I am going back to work, um, I noticed that in one of the things that we were about to get rid of was a USB CD-ROM drive, so what I may do is I may download uh, the trial for Magic Engine and I may see if it can actually play some TurboGrafx CD games. And uh, we may experiment with that a little on, on stream before I start playing a little more Battletech uh, Sunday night. Um, I, I'm definitely leaning more towards playing some Battletech Sunday night. But, um, but in any event, I'm glad I'm feeling better. Thank you for everybody who came out. It was a good time as always, at least for me. Um, fun was had by all. Um, we're going to be cruising through the Battletech campaign and we're just going to kind of play it. Uh, yeah, don't worry. I'm, I won't forget Discord. I might not do it tonight, but I'll, but I'll do it tomorrow um, during the day when I'm, when I'm at work. Because I'll be in front of my computer doing a bunch of data entry. Because uh, I'm not allowed to lift anything more than five pounds. So I'm going to be I'm going to be doing a lot of um, not lifting things. So that, that means a lot of uh, bureau bureaucracy work uh, and all that. So, but, um, but yeah, I will remember Discord and, uh, and we'll take a look at that. And uh, I think that's the biggest update I have at the moment. So either way, very likely I will see you all, uh, anybody who drops by anyway, Sunday night for more Battletech. And in the event that I do uh, feel up for it, I'll give Cyberpunk uh, a try Saturday morning and we'll see how that goes. But in any event, I hope everybody has a great tomorrow and Friday rest of your week. And uh, that's, yeah, I think that's all I've got. That's all I've got. Yeah, that's all I've got. All right, everybody, have a great one. Good night, good morning, depending on your time zone, and I will see you all on the next one. Ciao.